Go. Go. During this video, should I just look at you the whole time? I was like, no. <laughs> What's Hunter, going on, everyone? Hunter, back. Come we're doing our. <laughs> we're doing our. Uh, what set is it? What set? What's Theros this? Beyond Death. Throne of Theros, uh, Beyond the Afterlife set Legacy. review. Legacy set review for all the Legacy cards in the set. Yep. Just all right, so let's ones. go through them right now. Nope, none yet. Oh, is Oko in this? No. Okay. Um. Yeah. So we're just gonna do our 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 <clears throat> typical set review for uh, Theros Beyond Death. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy that. And uh, Frank and Swole Mike, will this be up on YouTube tonight after you guys get done? I want to listen, but apparently everyone and their mom is in my, in my company needs to have meetings today. Yikes. Uh, I'm going to put this up on one on Saturday, one on Sunday. So if you guys want to check them out then. Unfortunately, it won't be up in time for the pre-release, but it'll be in time for the release or whatever. Uh, so. Is it Zimini Pot? Yeah. Zimini Pot, just, is it, uh, just is shoot it, me a message. It, shoot me a, I'll give you Frank's phone number, and then you can call him, and then... Uh, and then he'll he'll just tell you what he had to say. I would absolutely murder if you did that. So here's the thing, <clears throat> I I signed up for a moving. I, I was like I uh, I was looking at moving companies online, and I was like, let me get a quote, right? And so I like put my number in, and it was the worst thing I'd ever done. Because now you're getting a bunch of spam. I got about 15 calls this morning, <sighs> and about 24 calls yesterday. That's why I have a drug phone. And you can see all these calls that I've received in the past day. And maybe like one of them is from Katie, and one of them is from an actual number. Other than that, like it's just unbelievable, and they're all different places, so I can't really be like, "Hey, stop calling me," and have them stop. There it's should be a block feature on it, though. There is, but, but I have to block each individual number, number right? Know. Stop, stop messing with your hair. I'm sorry. Good. All right. Hey, I have to tell you something. I'm listening. I I am who I am. Said, "Hey, Frank, I'm just here to say the other day when you drafted Stone Cold Serpent, your reasoning was it scales well." Which I thought was the best pun of all time. Oh man, it scales well. It's a fucking because it's a serpent. Yeah, that's really good. Made of stone. Well, that doesn't have anything with scales, right? Oh, no, it doesn't. But yeah, yeah. Never give your number to those people. Is correct. Um, <laughs> your phone is nude. What does that mean? I think they don't see a case on it. Oh, there's definitely a case. It's just a clear case. Yeah, I'm the same. I love how phones look. I well, yeah, I'm I like, like I, I like I got cases. the Galaxy S, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and like the Humble back brag. has this amazing back. So like, I didn't want to not show that off because the they like they do a, they intentionally make it look good. So like, like a hologram, right? Right. Like, why but would I? If you hold that in the ca in front of the camera, will, will can chat see himself? You know, I think so. Yeah, that's a <laughs> yeah, I think so. Are you ready? <clears throat> Hit me. Start it. Al Seed of Life's Bounty. One mana for an enchantment nymph. Nymph. The E, uh, the e and the I are, are silent in the name, I think. The E and the I. So it's Alsd? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Alsd of Life's Bounty. You can also call him Al. Al. Sacrifice it. Target creature or enchantment you control gains protection from the color of your choice until after. So it's like a 1-1. It's, it's, like one, one, it's like a burnt and forged tender, basically. With lifelink. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's any good. Really? I mean, I'm sure it's probably good for like getting like swinging through damage in limited. This card actually seems fine. It's not constructed playable. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Yes, it's an enchantment. There's a lot of enchantment. Yeah, I should have given out a fake phone number. <coughs> I should have given like a Google number or something. Anyway, <laughs> it's God's willing on board. I don't know. I think this card's okay. cute. Like as a one, like I don't know if there's like a a curve out mid range deck. I think this is fine. Like. The no one, way. The one one lifelink is good, and giving any any enchantment or creature protects from any of the color like makes things hard to deal with, man. I disagree. I think it's not a mid range card, like in a mid range deck. I think this is a mono white weenie, like a white aggro deck, and it just protects one of your larger threats, like a loxodon or something like that, or a large flying gentleman. Wait, Luke, what are you saying about health insurance, dude? Are you being serious about that? Like, I have no idea what that means. Where? Also, never you're one of those people. You're on the outs now. Getting health insurance is going to be hard. What does that mean? I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> Archon of a of Falling Stars. Six mana for a four four. You're probably already lost me. When it, it dies, you may return an enchantment from your graveyard to the battlefield. Eh, that's great and limited, but cool effect, but not. It's not anything breakable. This is standard. just too expensive. Yeah. yeah. Frogler, thank you so much for the reset, but that's why I had this. That's why I had this lower. So, yeah, I mean, six mana for a 4-4 flyer, which is not where you want to be in construction. Limited is but, good, I mean, good I'll just, flyer. Yeah, I'll play a 4-4 flyer that gets me a free card. Why would getting good coverage cost an armor and a leg, though? What do you, I don't know what you're saying What's right the now. core? What does that have to I do don't, with Yeah, it? I don't understand the connection here. I already have health insurance, like, from... Another humble brag. Yeah, well, I mean... <laughs> well, I can get a load of the aristocrat over here. <laughs> Archon of Sun's Grace. Someone played this in Limited against me, and it was actually mind-blowing. I was like, wow, that's a real card, huh? 
three, four flying lifelink for four. Pegasus creatures you control have lifelink, so that's cool. So everything um, it poops out has lifelink? Yeah. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 two -two with flying. Like, this card seems great. Like, good. Sure. I mean, I would play this in Constructed. Like, I think this is... This is absolutely a card that Frank would play in Constructed. I can't tell what that means. It means they're not all great. Like me. But we just like different cards. With different constructed playability. No, dude, Luke, I gave my number to a moving company, a rental company. I don't know what you're talking about right now. <laughs> I gave my number to, like, a, a, a get, to get a moving quote for moving, <laughs> moving. Maybe everyone's trying health to... Insurance, did you ever dude. get it? Maybe they're all calling you because you're not answering the phone. They are calling me because I'm not answering the phone, but I'm not going to answer Well, how are you going to get your quote? I don't want it anymore. <laughs> I've given up. Maybe they'll stop. Banishing Light... I mean, what do we need to say about Vanishing Light? This card's great. I'm glad it's in standard. Great card. Will be played. I mean, this would be a great answer to Oko. Um, thankfully, Oko is, is gone. Don't No, he doesn't even deserve that. The Birth of Miletus. Not to be confused <laughs> with this. Kalidus. <laughs> Two mana for an enchantment for a saga. Uh, search your for a basic planes card. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. Not bad. So you're two mana. You're drawing a planes. You're tithing, <clears throat> if you will. Mm. Create an 04 colorless artifact creature token with Defender, your Wall of Omensing. So on the second one, you basically played a Wall of Omens that drew you a planes, right? Right. And then you gain three life on the third. I think this card's good. It's not bad, yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's at worst, it's a sideboard card. It's a delayed Wall of Omens that gains you two life. Like, it's yeah. real good against, like, mono red and stuff. Yeah. I mean, this card seems great. I think it's good. I think it's fine. I like it. I enjoy it. It would probably be played. We can't keep doing this okay, for every sorry. card. Uh, four, 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 five. Constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your opponent, under your control, tap a creature and opponent controls. Captivating unicorn. Um, seems good and limited. It's great and limited. Yeah. Um, okay. Commanding presence also very good and limited. But I wonder if this has no right. No. Four mana for enchanted creature gets plus two plus two and has first strike. Whenever this creature does combat damage, create a one one soldier token. I lost to this like twice yesterday. Really? So how um, many drafts have you played? I envious MTG, I try to do both. Like, if a card is not going to be constructed playable, I do mention uh, that it will probably be very good and limited or not good and limited. Yeah, we, we generally speak to both. Usually I try to speak to... I mean, like, usually if a card is good and constructed, it's good and limited. It's good, like, yeah. that's usually how it goes. Yeah. Not always, but it's it's, it's typical. Um, I did two drafts, and I went 0-2 in the first one and 1-2 in the second one. Oh. It was not good. It's because I was here. I know. That's why. But I don't want to... I didn't want to make you feel bad. Sure. Dawn Evangel. Three mana for a 2-3. Whenever a creature dies... This card's actually really complicated. I was trying to read this yesterday, and I was like, what? Whenever a creature dies, if an aura you controlled was attached to it, return a creature card with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard to your hand. As soon as I saw this, uh, I tried to find a way to break it, but there's no way to equip in standard for zero other than the 1-1, um, the, one -one, the one mana haste. Yeah, so far, every white card is just play enchantments, please. Eh, what are you going to do? Yeah. Um, but, I mean, like, it's it's hard because, like, if any creature dies, if there's an aura, get back a creature. If its mana cost is two or less, and it's just, like, a lot. It goes to your hand. Like, I was trying to find... Yeah, well, and that was the other thing. I thought it... I thought when I read play. the card, I thought I went to the battlefield. So I was looking for a loop where you sacrifice your own guy, and it brings back something, and then you equip it for zero, then you sacrifice it and do it again. But it's garbage. You should have hit me with a... Bum, 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 bum. Oh, we actually don't have... Uh, I have to add something else, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, audio input capture. I <laughs> I think it's good with dead weight and the new deader weight. No, I, this thing is way too slow. If it went to the battlefield, Danny, it would it would probably be worth it, but not not going to your hand. That's that's not good enough. What if I do this? Let's see. Especially for a three mana two three. It's a two three for three, which is not good enough. And what then about the fact that it goes, that guy's good. That's different. That that immediately gets you another card. Okay. This doesn't. It puts okay. it in your hand. This is not good enough. Okay. Daxos, blessed by the sun. Two white. Daxos is toughness equal to your devotion to white, so it's always a 2-2 at the very least. Uh, whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, you gain a life. I think this card's great. Uh, I think this card is great. I also love the effect, because that's not an effect that's normally on a white creature. It's not outside the color pie. What? Yes, it is. Suture Priest had this ability. Its Soul Warden has half the ability. Those are all ETB. This one says or dies. Well, yeah, it still says ends the battlefield. Suture Priest says dies. Yeah. No, no, I think Suture Priest is whenever another creature enters the battlefield. Suture Priest has two different abilities, my dude. Whenever another creature 
enters the battlefield under your control, you may gain a life whenever a creature enters the battlefield under an opponent's Oh, it's, it's when they when they have a creature. It, yeah. I thought it was whenever a creature dies. Yeah, okay. Well, that's interesting. The dies is interesting, but I mean, like, otherwise, this is just a, a soul warden with upside, like, for two mana or, like, a... That card's great. Like, imagine that with Cat Oven. I don't want to. Cat comes into play. They You gain a life. I get they it. lose. Why are you explaining it? Sorry. It's a very obvious interaction. <laughs> You know, the deck that sacrifices things. When you sacrifice your creature, that would trigger the Daxos. But also when you play the creature, it triggers the deck. Yeah, we get it, man. I don't know why you explained that. I'm sorry. Daybreak Chimera. 3-3 three, three for 5. It's got to be good. I like this song. This, this card. I was this about to say this costs, song. <laughs> this spell costs X less to cast, where X is your devotion to white. A 3-3 three, three flyer for 2? I mean... That's 100% doable. That's pretty good right but you're never gonna have it on like turn two so it's gonna be like a three drop right that's so, still fine right but then what's then like it might as well just be a three three flyer for three it can right it's, but it's up to you i don't know if that's like that's good i don't think this is like a a, a a card that's slotting into a deck that's gonna be a powerhouse i just think it's it's a cool card it's a cool card design for limited yes like sarah avenger is not did not see that much constructed play i doubt daybreak chimera is. i didn't play back then that doesn't change why well, would I, I didn't know? Dreadful apathy, three mana. Enchanted creature can attack or block. It's three mana pacifism for the set. For three mana, you can exile the creature. This is just a worse banishing light. Yeah, like you're not going to play this over banishing light. Like you probably have enough of this effect in standard that you don't need it, but it's great yeah. and limited. Great so. and limited. Uh, Eidolon of obstruction, I two like mana. First strike for a two one loyalty ability of planeswalkers. Your opponent's control costs one more to activate. I think this card's awesome. Yeah, it's just a it's just a hate bear for planeswalkers. Yeah, it's about time they made something like and this. And it's a two one. It has first strike. Yeah, like... this card's sweet, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even. I would never play a deck that plays this card, but oh. like this card's so cool. I is that a real thing or is that someone's at my front door? At right now? Yes. Do you have to go get it? No, I'm good. Okay. I, w I yeah, this card's good. I like that it exists. Elspeth conquers death. Five mana for a saga. Exile a permanent. An opponent controls with converted mana cost three or greater. That's good. It's any permanent. So you can get their banishing light. You can get any plane. Pretty much any plane. Any planeswalker. Yeah. Like there's. Ren and six is like the only planeswalker you can't hit with this. Tibble. Ren and six is probably like the only planeswalker you can't hit with this. Ha! Uh, non creature spells your opponent's cast cost two more to cast until your next turn. That's interesting because like, it's like this really limited window where their spells cost more. And then return a creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard to the battlefield, put a 1-1 counter or a loyalty counter on it. That's that's pretty nice. I think this is a really sweet card. I like it's this It's interesting lot. because they changed the templating here. Uh, it says put a 1-1 counter or a loyalty counter on it. Typically, when you return something from the battlefield, uh, it'll say put an additional 1-1 counter right, right. or a loyalty counter on it. Like if you look at, um, what's that What's that blue clone that makes a spark? Spark, spark double. double. Like, if you look at Spark Double, it says, You may have entered the battlefield as a copy of a creature or planeswalker, except it enters with an additional 1 1 counter on they it. They didn't have room creature. for text. It enters with an additional loyalty counter if it's a planeswalker. They, like didn't, it, they didn't have room for text. Has to be. I mean, I always thought the additional was, was superfluous. It's just unnecessary, right? Because you I know. Agree. Like, if you say put a 1 1 counter on it, like, you, you know what you're doing. You're not like. That you're adding one? If like if I if I return like a creature that comes into play with three and this says put one on it, I'm not going to be like but it already has three on it. You know, yeah. there's no re yeah. there's no situation where I'm getting confused about the word additional. Correct. Either way, this card seems good. This card's sweet. Yeah, this is like this feels like a white eldest reborn. I was literally going to say this. That's exactly what it seems. Except like. Except this is rare, and eldest eldest reborn is uncommon. Which and is you can target your permanent, which is nice. What do you mean your permanent? Or I'm sorry, you could the you, permanent. You could tar target the permanent. Right. Now. Sure. 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 Which is nice. Elspeth, sons, this card just underwhelms me. What? Four mana for a five loyalty planeswalker. Negative one, up to two target creatures you gain plus one, plus two, plus one until end of turn. Sure. No evasion or anything, it's just plus two, plus one. Uh, negative two, create two one, one white human soldier tokens. So for four mana, the best case scenario out of this card is you're getting four one ones. Yeah. Okay. I don't think you can. I don't think and you can. And negative three, you gain five life. I don't think you can look at it the way you're looking at it because unless this gets exiled, it repeatedly comes back. You you can't look at this and say, like this card alone brings itself back. Whereas if you look at other planeswalkers, you're like, okay, best case scenario for um, 
for like the one of the like Tefri, not not Tefri. That's a bad example because it has pluses. But but you know how some of the other ones they were all negatives. Like one made two two. You yeah. get a mass two. Mm -hmm. Like you're like best case scenario. I get a four four out of this, and it has menace. But then it's gone after that. This card brings itself back. It doesn't need anything else in order yeah. to be better. So I don't think you can grade it in the same sense as best case, you get four one ones. See, in my brain, this card seems so bad that I feel like it has to be amazing. You know what I mean? Like, Dude, I'm the same I'm way like, about a lot of about cards. Nothing about this impresses me, but maybe the fact that you can just get it back as much as you want, so long as you have the cards for it. I mean, like, maybe that's enough. Think, think about in a white deck, like the minus one is huge. You're you're basically getting bigger than a giant growth every turn. Well, I mean it's equivalent to the banal uh, history of Banalia's. Thank third, you. Third kind saga, of plus right? ability, sure. Alucard Markov, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. So I think this card is probably pretty good, but the, I would actually evaluate this card very similarly to um, the. We have two current. We have one current white one that costs four. The Ajani Pride Mate one. The Ajani one. That card's not playable. So, thankfully, Cool Stuff Inc. has a reprint and banning guarantee. So, uh, I just purchased two Mox Opals and a Mycosynth Lattice on, on, like, Friday. I got them on Saturday. They were banned on Monday. So, I've returned those three to Cool Stuff Inc. And I will likely use that that, that credit on... Uh, Elspeth Sun's Nemesis? On, on Theros cards in general. Mm. Probably not specifically this one. Mm. Favored of Iroas. Three mana for a 2-2. Two -two. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield, it gains double strike. Draft limited flicker of fate two mana for a blink effect but it's target creature ench or enchantment not 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 just yours and not just creature which is interesting so like you can blink your own banishing light to target something else yep you can blink your opponent if the opponent has a token you can get rid of it like there's a lot of uh you know no that that it's it's definitely better than the ones that we had in standard currently uh, Josh VS, I'm not talking about. I'm talking about. I think there's there's an Ajani in standard right now. It's four mana. It creates the Ajani's Pride Mate, and or you can like you can plus. I'm just saying it's like a standard white four mana Planeswalker that just seems oh, kind Steadfast, of okay. Right? Johnny Steadfast. Ste I think it's called Steadfast. Yeah. Also, when I was I turned the AC on in my car when I was driving home and it was crispy. Crispy. That's beautiful. It was nice, dude. I'm glad you got to share that. Um, Glory Bears, four mana for a three four. Whenever another creature you control attacks, it gets plus o oh, plus one until end of turn. That's junk. It's not good. No, it's not. Heliod, Sun Crown. Apparently, this is like in the fifties. <laughs> That's insane to me. Uh, as long as your devotion to white is less than five, it's a creature. We all know that indestructible. I'm not going to read these on future gods because we all know that clause. Uh, whenever you gain life, put a one one counter on target creature or enchantment you control. Every another target creature gains life until end of turn. Uh, I lost to this as well. I think I actually think Jesus. Nadine might have had this yesterday when I played against her in the draft. Uh, otherwise known as Nissa cosplay. But yeah, the card is pretty busted. This card is it's excellent. I don't think there's really much to say. I think and you've, we've all had conversations about this already. This card's really good. And like the the conversation where or the 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 point of the art the the Bannon's restricted announcement that Wizards made, where they actually mentioned that hey we are we are aware of the interaction between Heliod and Walking Ballista, and we're going to be keeping an eye on it. Like, good idea. <laughs> like it's probably it's nice that they're aware of it, but the fact that it exists is like, I mean, it feels like it might be too strong for Pioneer. You know what I mean? Like maybe. I think it, I think this doesn't add. I don't think you look at this as an instant kill like um, what we what we always um, compare it to. Um, what do you mean an instant kill? Like uh, what's the deck that's banned? Uh, Splinter Twin. Right. So you look at Splinter Twin. You're like, okay, it's two cards. When they go together, they win the game. That's what this does. Yeah. Right. It, it does, but it doesn't function the same way. Whereas on turn three, I'm going to put down my one combo piece while interacting at the same time and then untap and then basically just win the game immediately. Right, but Heliod's indestructible, so it's really hard to deal with. You can't Assassin's Trophy it. You can't no, you're, you're, abrupt decay it. Like, you you're can't, right. I don't um, think this is... I don't... I, well, well, you the, can't path it. You can't... Yeah. So, like, you can't... Hey, it's hard to get... How do you get rid of this? Yeah. You can't disenchant it. Like, it, you, you, it stays on the board. So, like, if they play this guy and then they, let's say, with six mana, they play, like, a 2-2 two -two walking ballista with two mana up. Well, it's just game then, right? That's game. They can respond to you targeting with lifelink, but that's pretty much it. Sure. Right? Like, But if you play smart, it's really hard to deal with, right? Right. Because so, if they try to remove it, you can respond by giving it lifelink and then killing them in response. Yeah. I'm not saying the it's not good. I think it's great, and I agree it should be on their radar, and I think it's smart of them to, to say it. 
um, because obviously everyone talked about because it. everyone's gonna be like, did they not know about this? And like, no, they don't they know. test anything. No, but I'm, what I think is, I think this card will just be in a very good deck. It'll make an archetype better because it will have the ability to draw a card for your turn and go, oh, I win the game now. A five five for is walking blo blocking blitz not legal and standard though. So no, 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 um, that's not standard. Yeah, this is just a five five with lifelink that gives other creatures lifelink. Oh, I guess it. No, it doesn't give itself. It has to give itself lifelink, I guess, but it can't. It can't. Okay, it's another. Creature. That's good. We're we're getting it. We're 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 flushing it out. Yeah. Whenever you can, like, put a one one counter on target. Yeah, but like the, God, the creatures get bigger too. Like, this is pretty good. Like, yeah. No, a card, that card is great, and and you know what's funny is I'm not a mono white player, but a deck like a card like this makes me actually want to try a mono white. Yeah, revoke deck. existence seems like one of the few answers to this card, and the sad thing is it's sorcery speed. Yeah, I was gonna say that so, that like, doesn't work the way you want. If it to I work. have enough mana on my turn, like I'm just gonna kill you. Yeah. I mean, talking about non-standard formats, Heliod's intervention. The interventions are sweet. They're all X uh, color color cards with two modes. Uh, destroy an artifact. Destroy X artifacts or enchantments. That seems good. Uh, <laughs> what? This card is bonkers. I think or this card is twice X -like. so good. This is this is going to be all around standard. Yeah, it's very good. Destroy destroy X target artifacts or, or enchantments. Against some decks, that's literally just the of, pay, like pay five mana, Rathabon. kill three creatures, yeah. and, and I'll keep mine on board. Like, it's so good. It's, well, it's, destroy three creatures to be paid. Yeah, five mana, you're right. Dang it. Yeah. Dang it. But, but like gain twi gain twice X life. Yeah. Like, so in the late bonkers, game against man. like any sort of aggressive deck, you're like, all right, I'll pay four, uh, for for X and I'll gain eight life. Like, yeah, and yeah, it's, it's instant good. speed. It's like you're playing. We've all had those moments where you're playing mono red and you have that one card that you have that's going to interact and stop you from losing the game. But you're sitting there holding it, waiting for them to target you with something so you can respond to it. Because you know if you try and fire off your gain X life and then they lightning strike you and then yeah. in response you die. But that card, it's it's this. But it's also the so flexibility good. is nice because it's so if good. you're not playing against mono red in the sideboard, it still it still does other yeah. things. Or like if you're not playing against a deck with artifacts or enchantments, like it's still like it does things, and that's the point. So good. Heliod's Pilgrim, three minutes, a nice reprint for one two. Uh, you may search your library for an aura when it enters the battlefield. Seems fine. Like this is for search out combo pieces in the past. Like yep. you can search for Splinter Twin, you can for search for Eldrazi Conscription, things like that. So seems good. Heliod's Punishment. Man, Heliod's got a lot, of, a lot going on here. Uh, two mana for an, an aura. Uh, Heliod's Punishment enters the battlefield with four task counters on it. Seems like a real Prometheus reference here. Uh, enchanted Creature can't attack or block. It loses all abilities and has tap, remove a task counter from it. Okay, so it's just doing the job. It's like, it's like, it's, it reminds me of Paralyze. Like where it taps the creature, but you can only untap it if you pay four, right? It's like a... This is basically an alternative to pacifism that stops that shuts off abilities for four turns. Yeah. I think there's better ways. I don't I don't I think it's fine. Four turns is like more than enough if you have like an aggressive deck. In an, in, I was gonna say in an aggressive deck I could see this being played. But yeah, I think you'd rather have cards like the ones where you could pay one mana and a creature can't block, like those enchantments. Hero of the Pride, two mana for a two two. Whenever you cast the spell the targets here of the pride, creatures you control get plus one plus oh until end of turn. I don't know why they just didn't kind of cool i mean it's funny when they put like it's a theros set so let's put the heroic mechanic in it but we're not going to call it heroic <laughs> i'm just like well all right that's you you could you could just call it heroic probably because they didn't want to develop that many creatures with the ability except, but just make it but, but it's, a, it's an ability that exists in magic so you might as well just call it that yeah whenever you cast the spell the targets here of the winds creatures you control get plus one plus up oh heroic wow still not good enough yeah not gonna do it Search your library for an enchantment, reveal it, and put it in your hand, and shuffle. This card's great. Adele, Adele Tutor's awesome. Commander Staple. This art is fantastic, too. I like the art. Yeah, this art's great. Looks like the giant hand from Arena when you use the uh, Realm Cloak. Have okay. you ever seen that animation? I don't know if I have, actually. Seriously? When you when you destroy all creatures... Oh, I lie to you. When you destroy all creatures with it, a huge hand goes... And hits the, hits the board and drags everything off. It I don't know if I've seen that. It doesn't drag the cards, but it, that's what it looks like. It's pretty cool. <laughs> But you get it. Yeah, it's hey, like, this card's great. Put all like, this I mean, crap in the can. It's just basically a tutor for any enchantment, any aura, anything you need, whatever you need. And like the fact that creatures are also enchantments in this set that yep. you can just search for a creature too. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this saw constructed play. Mm, maybe. I don't. I think it's too too expensive. Really? Yep. Okay. Uh, flash enchant creature gets plus one plus two draft. Cool. Limited. Karametra's blessing one mana. 
for a plus two plus two. If it's an enchanted creature or enchantment creature, it gains hexproof and indestructible to different. This is actually a great trick. Mm -hmm. One mana for plus two plus two, and assuming you're going to put in a deck that's chock full of either creature enchantments or enchanted creatures or enchantment creatures, um, this is probably pretty good. Like if there's any sort of like Boggles deck, like I can definitely see this being played. I can yep. even see this being played in Boggles, perhaps. I mean, just as a protection spell, right? Get, like, if you're already playing like Apostle's Blessing, like for one mana, this is just better, right? And Instructable and Hex. Well, you don't mean Boggles. Do I? What? You mean like a like a? No, no, Boggles. They already have Hexproof. Oh, that's true. Like, well, I know what you mean. You mean like the decks where you just uh, I, there's a word for them in Commander. I want to say Megatron, but it's not Megatron. Voltron? Voltron. Yeah. Voltron style decks. Lag Laguna? Laguna? Lagana? Lagana? Lagana Band Storyteller. Four mana for a 3-4. Not a bad rate. Uh, if, as long as you do something cool. When it enters battlefield, you put an enchantment card from your graveyard on top of your library. If you do gain life field, it's kind of... Mm. It's junk. Yeah. Good, good rate for limited. 3-4 for three. Oh, yeah. This card's or great for limited. Four. Put my Banishing Line on top or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can actually search for your Heliod with uh, Idyllic Tutor. That's not bad. Correct. Leonin. Uh, and it also lets you play, like, one or two Heliods, and then you can just play more Idyllic Tutors. Yeah, because you can go get different stuff. Um, Leonin of Lost Pride, when it when it dies, exile a card from an opponent's graveyard. Two, two mana, three, one. I mean, it attacks good and limited. It does attack good and limited. Looking for something. Hold on. Oh, found it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Nyxborn Courser, not to be confused with Courser of Crufix. The same casting cost, the same power and toughness, the same type line. Unfortunately, this guy has no ability whatsoever. Just bad. And for that reason... I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, that's a good one. I could put that clip on here. I think I... Oh, dang it. I wonder if I left these out for too long. And sound clip? My ears... Yeah. Your little sound, on your little soundbite? Yeah, I can pull like... And for that reason, I'm out. When Omen of the Suns enter the battlefield, create two one ones. I like that this has flash. All of them do. It's and sweet. you gain two life. Yeah, and then like it, it, this is nice because you can sack it to, to scry to, or you can leave it on the board if you need like either the devotion or an enchantment for something. You know what I mean? Yep. So like, uh, yeah. I mean, this seems good. It's like it's like it's just the three mana uh, raise the alarm, right? It's pretty good. I that, like it. That lets you scry. That counts toward devotion. I don't think you'll see play, but I like it. Okay. Well, you don't have to be so negative about things. Sorry. It's okay, I forgive you. Ah. Okay. Alright. Uh, Phalanx Tactics. Two mana target creature you control gets plus two, plus one until end of turn. Each other creature you control gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Card's real good. That's actually not bad. It's very good. It's like all creatures get plus one, plus one, except for one more creature gets plus one, plus oh yeah. as well. Like, so instant speed anthem. It's great. There was one just like it in the uh, set that had Ascend. Oh, Pride of Conquerors is Pride better. That Conquerors. was plus two, plus two. Yeah. Like, that's much closer to, like, overrun than... Yeah. Plus one, plus one is not super impressive by itself. No. For an instant. But it's a lot of damage in the right deck out of nowhere. In Constructed or in Limited? In Constructed. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. The fact that it's uncommon does give me pause. Like, usually, I, I trust wizards to rate cards based on how powerful they think they are. Hmm. So, like, if a card is uncommon and I'm on the fence about it, I'm more likely to think that it's... Um, Maybe better than I'm giving it credit for. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, one, two for one. People were playing this card like crazy too in limited yesterday. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, a creature gets plus one, plus one. Until I can turn. see why it's being played in limited. Like some people had like three of them and I was like... That seems pretty good. Yeah. Because it's target ways, creature. It's yeah. not like it becomes a two, three. So it's actually kind of better. Makes your flyers good. I mean, I don't know if it's constructed no, it's playable. Not. But I mean, like, well, here's the thing. Like if you're playing... If there is an aggressive white deck and you go this guy into a two drop enchantment creature, you're attacking for two. A three drop enchanted creature you're attacking for two. Like, it just... It, it adds up. Sure. Uh, Mike is actually working. That's literally his his job is, is where he is. One, two for five. Okay, you better be good. Enters the battlefield, create a number <laughs> of one, one white soldiers equal to your devotion. So tell me the floor here. What's the floor? Uh, the floor? <laughs> no. The floor? I said four. How is the floor four? The floor is one, right? Oh, you mean like... No, what is the floor? The floor of this card is you pay five mana, you get right. a one, You're, one, I and a one, two. I thought you might floor. You meant the number of cards that I'm willing to accept. Oh, uh, yeah. To make this playable. That's the yeah. floor. Yeah. Right? Like I just meant the card itself is just oh, terrible. The, yeah, the floor is one. Like, you yeah. make a one, two, and a one, one for five mana. The no, that's that's not great. Like, this is... And I, and I mentioned this in my Cool Stuff article. Like, I think it was either last week or the week before. My problem with Devotion 
is that like, okay, let's say I have four other pips on board. That's either going to be, that's like three or four permanents on board. Because, you know, one has two white, one has one white, one has one white. And I cast this and I get a bunch of guys, but I already had a bunch of guys. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm already ahead and I'm pulling ahead more. If I'm behind and I draw this card and I have nothing else on board, I get a one, two and a one, one for five. But there's cool ways to, to like work with this. So let's just say you have a Johnny's pride mate. I have a Johnny's pride mate. You have, um, you have, um, what's the name of that card? What's the name orator. Of that card? Orator. Passion orator. orator. Passion orator. Right. Right. And then you cast this. And then you cast this. So, so you're, you're, you're getting one, you're two, getting three, one, four, two, three, four, four counters four on your, counters on your, you said, let's say pride, so mate. Saying it. pride, mate. on your pride, on mate. your pride, mate. I didn't say that. Why'd you say that? Why? I didn't say that. Why'd you say that? Okay. Okay. I said it cause Frank's a dummy. But I mean that's not bad. That's what only two hundred. What are you talking about? Pride mate. So so impassioned orator says whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you gain life. You gain one life. So you play this. You get you get three other dudes. That's four creatures entering the battlefield. That's four counters on your thing on your. It, it this doesn't really need a lot of working parts. It's trash. You're trash. Rogue existence. <laughs> Top tier common in standard. Excel an artifact or an enchantment for two mana. That's, I think it's great. That's perfect. I love it. Rumbling Century. This card's actually pretty good. This is going to be a, a standard staple, I'm pretty sure. Five mana. <laughs> the hell? I'm like looking at it going, I haven't like, even wait, seen this card. What five did I miss? mana for a 3-6, and you get to scry one. So you guys are probably thinking, no, this is just limited crap. But like, here's the thing. How often do you get to scry in white, guys? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Pick them up now before they're too hot. Sent this is this art is not okay. Sentinels. <laughs> 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 it's not okay. Sentinel's eyes. He looks like he knows you just made a comment about him. Is there an echo in here? Is that no? They're talking about you because you're respond. You were saying everything I was saying. You were just repeating me. I was just repeating him. That wasn't an echo. That wasn't an echo. That was an echo. That was Frank's an dummy. echo. Oh, <laughs> Sentinel's eyes. One mana. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and has vigilance. Escape. Uh, no. Even if you escape, I don't care. Shatter the sky. Four mana. <laughs> Each player who controls a creature with power four or greater draws a card, and then kill them all. Blue. So this is just four mana wrath, right? But Blue like white's back. But maybe they're like, hey, you get, you might get a card, but I might get a card too. Blue white's back, man. Oh, okay. This card's great. Okay, but why does that have to pair with, with blue? Because you don't have to wait till. No, I'm just saying for blue, I control. It's back. Well, it's, you don't have to wait till you yet. don't have to wait till five mana. Right. Wrath on but four that doesn't now. Okay, we're done. It does. Are you kidding me? The you card don't think is, this is like great. This is. I do think the card is great. That has no bearing on whether blue white is back. It's back. I'm telling we you. We don't know the. How? What are the components? Of I just it? know. Okay. I'm telling you. My I'm bad. I'm here to let you know. I'm not asking for your opinion. <laughs> now you're aware. <laughs> oh Jesus! Two, three, four, four. Oh God! Flying Sunman Pegasus gains vigilance and life link until end of turn. We were making a list. Don't we make lists during these things? Yes. Dang we'll, it. We'll, fly we'll start through. at this one and go back. Yeah. Taranika, a Crowan veteran. Uh, three, three for three. Okay, I'm on board. Whenever it attacks, untap another creature you control until the end of turn. That creature has base power and toughness. Four, four, and gains indestructible. I like the devotion here. Double white. Uh, I like that it's a three, three. And I, the ability is good. Everything about it is good. It makes a Gideon. Yeah, this card's good. Do you want to you put this on the list? I'm putting it on the list. Put it on the list. It's your list, man. i got to find it. It's our list. No, it's yours. That's messed up, dude. It's really yours. Why? Because you're just going to put on whatever you want. But I'm not. But I would put on whatever you want, too. If you like a card and I don't, I'd still put it on there. I like this one. Tr Do you really? No. Oh. I don't even know what it does. Transcendent Envoy, two mana for a one, two. Aura spells you cast cost one less. Maybe. I don't cast. know. This was good and limited. So this someone played this on turn two, and then they put the, the plus two, plus two, first strike, make a guy enchantment on there. Uh, oh, wow. The very next it turn. Right. And then attack and for then three, they made a one, one. Ooh. Right. And I was like, well, can't beat that, I guess, because <laughs> there's nothing to do. But in standard and constructed, I don't see this. I agree. Yeah. Triumphant Surge. Four mana. Destroy a creature with power three or four or greater. And then gain three. This is a great... Okay. Yeah, it's not great. You're not going to play in constructed. But this is a great option. Like, typically, like, you have cards like this without the gain three life. But yep. this one having the gain three life on top is good. Yep. Yeah. You want to scroll back real quick to write down our whites? Uh, let's do it at the end of the video. Okay. Because we we're not going to get to it anyway. And we'll already be back at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, Alerios Enraptured. Three mana for a legendary human, uncommon, for a 2-3. Enders Battlefield tapped. That's fine. 
Uh, doesn't untap during your untap step if you control a reflection. When he enters the battlefield, create a 3 2. This is great. This card's awesome. It's a 2 3 for 3 that also puts a 3 2 into play. You know, you know what card this is great against? Teferi. Because they bounce your token and then you still get a 3 2 to attack it. And then you still attack it and kill it with the, with the 2 3. Yeah, this card seems great. Or if they bounce that, you just make another token. I like this card a lot. Yeah, this card's sweet. Good good with Thafa. Also, the flavor is nice, too. He's so sad. Well, his reflection is alive and he's not. Dang. Ashiox Erasure. Also, this this sets... No, this set, this card's good. Uh, four mana. Two uh, blue blue. It's basically Venser, right? Uh, when there's a battlefield, exile a spell. Your opponents can't cast spells with the same name as the exiled card. When it's Erasure, leaves the battlefield. Uh, return the exiled card to its owner's hand. I think this card's good. This card's really good. Four is a lot, though. Four is a lot, but I mean... It's really good though. But you'll be playing like it's it's insane. it's kind of like a cast out. It's right? a counter spell. Yeah. It's not a cast out. Right, but my point is like you'd pay four mana for a sure. cast out. Or what's the other one? The Ixlon's binding, right? It's yeah. just an instant speed Ixlon's binding. Yeah. I mean the I only still think problem, it'll see play. The only problem is the restriction, whereas like if if I draw an Ixlon's binding in the late game, it's great because I can use it on whatever it's killing Correct. me. Correct, exactly. Whereas the, it's you know, this has to be timed. Yeah. I have to have this in my hand and the mana up. But I assume you're gonna be playing in a deck where that's not an issue, right? Sure. Yeah, so I think this card's good. Brine Giant, also, uh, this is also Thanos. Uh, <laughs> five, six for seven, but costs one less for each enchantment you control. I mean, this is not impressive, but on the other hand, like, I'm familiar with formats where, like, a card like this costs two mana, and you're just like, okay, cool. Five, six for two mana seems good. You know, like, I like it. I think it depends on. Do, is you like, do you I like it? In Constructed? I don't know if there's another. I, I haven't looked into the blue. Because I could see you playing, like, a bunch of cantrip enchantments. And sure. then just playing this guy and for like the flash two or three mana, yeah. You I know, mean, just it, like listen, man, five six is a hell of a body. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. This guy could be like put it on there. I, I any card that says like this costs less for each of this thing. There's always a deck that's like, well, I'm gonna do ten of it. Yeah, like it's you know Bedlam Reveler for example. Like that guy never costs more than two mana. You I know? played a mono blue deck. Um, I won F and M with it actually. That uh, played Cryptic Serpents where it was a six five for seven. Or six five for six, yeah. But it costs right, right. one less for each right. instant yeah, air sorcery in your graveyard, mm -hmm. and it's just dumb. Like you, the when you can have a turn where you untap with you draw a second brine giant, and and you're you like, play for one. I'll pay four mana to get two five sixes. Pass yeah. two each, right? Yeah, just yeah. I mean, that scenario is pretty busted, right? And like you're playing the cards anyway, right? Like it's yep. if in a blue white deck you're like banishing like your guy, Ashiox erasure your thing, brine giant for two, like a late game finisher. This card's probably just fine and it lets you keep up counterspell mana. Like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Nice, Rob. I was about to talk about that serpent. What serpent? The one you just mentioned with the discount. Oh, cryptic serpent. We, oh, I read serpent, so I was thinking about the conversation that we had earlier about the scales. Wow, that's where you went. That's yeah, where you that's went? where I went. Calaf, Calafi, Calafi, beloved the, of the sea. Yeah. Uh, three mana for probably a two three at the at, at the very least. That's the floor, as Rob would say. Uh, equal to the number, yeah, you'd power equal to your ocean. Creatures and spells you control have spells your opponents cost that cast that target this permanent cost one more to cast. Kind of cool effect. Yeah, seems good. I mean, this is like, what's the what's the other dude in the other set? Kimona or Kanamo or Kumano or what's that thing's called? Kimina? Kimina. Kumina? The, the Kumina. The one that was a, a merfolk. Yeah. The one that wasn't played. Mm. Yeah, Ku, Kumina. No, no, no. Kumina was played. What was the, what was the friggin' merfolk one, dude? The one that's like... Made, made whenever you target a merfolk, yeah, costs two more. That's right. Well, Kazmina is the planeswalker that has this ability with a K. I think we're done with the water here, or the mountain dew, whatever it is. Yeah. So I don't know. This card's probably not great. Okay. One man is a little bit much. Maybe. Like, I mean, there's a blue. There's a blue devotion deck flying around, and if that thing's like a seven seven three, that's pretty darn good. Chain to memory. One mana. Target creature gets negative four, negative zero until end of turn, and scry two. This is your typical like I'm not going to kill you, but I'm probably going to kill you in combat type card. Yeah. I'd rather you draw a card, but I mean you're not going to play this. That would be busted at one mana. Well, yeah, one mana that'd be insane. Well, yeah. Deny the divine. This card actually seems great. Um, surprisingly for a counter spell, it's a hard counter for a creature or an enchantment, and if the spell is countered, you exile it instead of putting it into the graveyard. So it also denies things like escape. Yep. Um, so if you're countering, like, an Elspeth that has escape, like, well, you, I mean, you can't, obviously, but for example, a card with escape, they're, they're just not going to be able to use it anymore. Yeah. Um, which I think is pretty good, and, like, there's a lot of creatures and enchantments that are going to be relevant in standard, so I don't see... It's like a three-mana essence scatter that also hits enchantments and exiles it, and I think this card's good. Not bad. Also, one blue is nice. 
that's the trade-off you're getting, right? And set what is dissolve the one that exiles it from your the three man. There's no three dissipate. Man, dissipate. Dissipate is. Yeah. That's your also, trade-off. this it, this has the word divine in the title, implying that you should kill gods with it. Got rid of the vibrate, so this bothers. Oh yeah, you can also counter it if it escapes from the graveyard too, because you cast it that way. Eidolon of Philosophy, one mana for a 1-2 enchantment creature, seven and sacrifice to draw three. Should have flying. <laughs> I mean, seven mana is a lot to draw three. I'm never going to look at, I'm never going to snub my nose it's at a draw cruise. three, but like. Isn't that Treasure Cruise? Yeah, but I've never cast, I've never cast a Treasure Cruise for seven <laughs> mana, so. Well, you've never lived. <laughs> I've, trust me, I've lived. <laughs> Elite Instructor, three mana for a 2-2 two, two. when it enters the battlefield, draw a card, then discard a card. I get to loot once. Jesus, God. Boop. Did you say boop? Boop. Yeah, that's a little boop. Uh, Glimpse of Freedom for two mana. Draw a card. Didn't we talk about this? No. I talked about this with somebody. It's probably not worth talking about. Really? It's garbage. I thought this it was, is really bad. I thought it was garbage, too, but in a control deck, like... Like, in a control deck, you draw a card. If, if it's a think twice. The, on the top end, it's think twice. Same cost, same ability. Think it's twice. It's not think twice. On the, on the front half, it is. Oh, on the front half, sure. Two mana, draw a card. Yes. Got it. And then you pay three mana to draw a card. Instead of exiling it, you have to exile five other cards. But you can do it again in the later game. I get what you're saying, but I, maybe... So what, like a one of? Two of? It, I mean, it cycles at the very least, right? There's going like, to be other cards in those decks that you're probably escaping with, and you're, ta- you're not going to take five cards. I haven't to... seen anything else that I would escape with in a control deck, though. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I mean, if this is your one escape card in your control deck, like, it's a decent engine in the late game. Like, it is you can filter through cards. Like, I mean, if you... Okay, so here's the thing. If you escape this twice, it's already better than Think Twice. Sure. Right? Because you're drawing an extra card for, for no real cost. Sure. So, I don't know. I think this card has some see, merit to it. I can see it. the argument to um, trying it, for sure. I don't know what the two-mana instant preordain is. It's the Omen. The Flash Omen. It's a preordain. Have we come to it yet? No. Then why are we talking about it? You brought it up. I didn't. Someone in the chat said this or two mana instant preordain. Well, I didn't bring it up. Well, I didn't either. Are you yelling at me or chat? Ichthyomorphosis. God, Jesus. There was a time you where Mike that. was trying to pronounce this. You nailed yesterday, that. Yesterday. And it was just the whole most hilarious thing ever. Ichthyomorphosis. Uh, Enchanted creature loses all abilities and a blue fish with base power and toughness 01. I think this could be a, a, a two mana card. I don't think this needs to be three mana. I'm going to ask you an honest question. Here we go. This is a real word. Is it what? What's your question? If you're walking down the street, uh huh, you see, and I feel you a juicy see, splat. No <laughs> diarrhea. If you see, if you see that sticky gentleman, <laughs> okay, he's in front of you. That's on the sidewalk, gentleman. right? I, I imagine he's sticky. Trust me, okay, dude. When I see any say, sticky gentleman, let's down, say on he's the, the size of a football. Of you would get out of the way. You wouldn't touch him. Would you? I would. Yeah, that thing. I would touch it. I usually steer clear of sticky gentlemen, and just as a, a rule of thumb. Okay, new scenario. Walking down the street, sidewalk, right? That football-sized gentleman's on the sidewalk in front of you. You got to get across him. Mm-hmm. I kick him. You kick him? <laughs> I punt that, I punt that <laughs> bitch down the what road, if there, man. What if there was a stick, Whoop. say, this long? Okay, would uh-huh. you poke it? No, that just seems cruel, like I'm, a, like I'm a scientist trying to figure out what it is. No, 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 you're just poking to see if it's alive, maybe. Why do I need to know that? I'm kicking it. You're, okay, that's that's not cruel. That dude's gone, man. Po- poking, poking, don't do that. Well, Str- so, punting, that's so, okay. Yeah, so but see, poking kind of implies like, I don't understand you, and I'm trying to like, I'm trying to figure you out. Like, it's kind of like, it's more, I think it's definitely more insulting than a kick. Like, a poke is like a, <laughs> it's like a, like a kick is not insulting. Assault? It's just, it's just, assault is better. That's is not better. insulting, though. That is assault. Like, if I poke you, I'm like, if there's a very much, there's a, a big feel no, of like, what are no, you? No, I know that, but I'm saying kicking it is assault. But I'm not, that's not insulting. No, not insult, assault. I under, what's wrong with you? I'm just making sure we're on the same an page. Some? I would rather uh, you would kick that thing instead of just being like, "Hey, man, why is it you on alive? the sidewalk?" That you're trying to figure it out. See, you're already asking. You're already ready to. Book I can't it. figure out. It's what, not my job. I got places for? to go. <laughs> I got places to go. And the ichthyomorphosis needs to get off the get off the get sidewalk. off the field. What are you off like? the sidewalk? <laughs> Jesus, you're so football engaged. You're like, <laughs> I didn't say field. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> ichthyomorphosis is on the field. Field, field, field. <laughs> penalty, penalty. All right, so we got Kiora, Poke. bests of the, bests the sea gods. So this is just Kiora versus Thassa, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Someone said it's better than cooking them, fish and chips. <laughs> Jesus. 
Uh, create an 8-8. So this is 7 mana. It's so expensive, but it's very good. 7 mana for an 8-8 with Hexproof. That's pretty good. <laughs> what if you blink this, too? Oh, that seems gas. You can um, blink it with that white card we saw. Yeah, you can. Kiora. This card looks fun as hell. I'm a fucking sucker for... Oh, no. I did a thing. I'm sorry, guys. Oh! Oh, oh no! Alright. Turn it comes into play. You make an 8-8 with Hexproof. Next turn, you tap all non-land permanents, target opponent controls. They hit don't him untap. for eight. You, you at least hit him for eight. Uh, you probably hit him for 16 because they don't untap during the next turn. Then you gain control of target permanent and, and, and opponent controls. Untap it. I wonder if you untap can... Untap it is huge. I wonder if you can respond to putting the counter the third time. What do you mean respond? So, can I blink it? And still get the effect of the gain control of target permanent. No, because the trigger would be on the stack. Yep. You would blink this. It would come back into play. The first saga would trigger from the new from the new card. Yeah. And then when it goes to put a third counter on it, it's no longer there. Okay. It's a different instance. Because I didn't. So I didn't think putting a counter on it was a trigger. I thought the ability was a trigger. I thought the cost is paid as soon as you draw a card. Or as soon as you pass your draw step. Mm, there's no trigger after, that puts after it your on. draw step add a lore counter yeah there's no trigger for adding a lore counter I don't know how that works then That's... yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can find the um the gather but I mean what's the difference if you just let it resolve and then oh because you want to sacrifice you gotta it. sacrifice it yeah yes. I see what you're saying yeah We are doing that. When you have a juicy turd diarrhea. Give me another saga. I don't think the new ones are even in Gatherer yet, which is weird. Uh, it's always weird when other sites like Scryfall have Elder Shreborn. have your cards in the in your on your for your game, but you don't have your own cards. Like these shit should be in there as soon as they're spoiled. Alright, so uh which is the which is the beginning? Which is the end? Is this from the top? How can close? Oh, here we go. As the saga enters the battlefield, its controller puts a lore counter on it. As your pre-combat main phase begins, immediately after your draw step, you put another lore counter on each saga you control. Putting a lore counter does not use the stack. Exactly. But yeah. the ability has to go on the stack. Right. So, oh, here's the thing. Wait. So what we need to figure out is if it says. Do you sacrifice it. it as soon as it gets the lore counter or when the ability resolves? Because if it's when it gets the counter, then you sacrifice it and the ability is on the stack, but the lore, the saga is gone. <laughs> sacrifice happens at the same time as putting the counter on it. There's no opportunity to respond. Interesting. That it's For me, it's that or it it stays until the ability resolves. But I can I don't think I why it would. Way. Sacrifice after three. What also is dumb about that is the the text on the card doesn't tell you what to do with it afterwards. So like if I'm playing kitchen table magic with that, like I don't play it, you wouldn't think to get rid of it. Why? Because you. Sp oh, it does. It, it does says say sacrifice, sacrifice after, after three. Yeah, yeah that's right, not right. just like a, a rule. I missed that. Oh, this one says sacrifice after four. Metamize. Oh, I, either way, this card's great. Like whether you can blink it or not. I think it's like good. this card's good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, is this under, yeah, we don't need that. Scry two, so you pay two to scry two. That's nice. I like that. Mm. Uh, choose a card. Two is choose a card name. <laughs> You're like, all right, second counter. I'll choose Rob's Justice. And then I go Sounds to weak. my next turn. When you cast the spell with the chosen name, Rob's Justice, for the first time, when I cast my first Rob's Justice, I draw two cards. That's actually pretty good. Seems good, but I don't. I don't think a blue deck can afford to play this. You don't know what blue decks are going to be legal and standard, though. You all know? of them can't play this. It's just too slow. But you don't know what what? I don't think this is any good. Really? I, For the, two mana, you just you pay it on turn two and you do nothing else. Evaluating like, this card alone, this card is really good. I just don't see a way that you use this card. How aggressive is the format where you can't just put something down on on turn two for two mana and then never have to invest any mana in it? I don't know, man. It's kind of like a two mana glimmer of genius. Yeah. You're scrying two and you're drawing two for two mana. Like But you're not casting glimmer on four. 
Unless your opponent's not doing anything. So right, but you've already you've already you don't have to you don't have to cast on four at all because you've already spent the mana on turn two. It's never you never have to spend anything else. It's, I mean, I like the card. I think it's awesome. Yeah, this card seems good. I love the art too. Yeah, blue seems good so far. I have a bunch of cards listed. Memory drain. Oh, you're trying to be cryptic command so hard. Two blue blue counter spell scry two. No, you ain't gonna do it. But guys, scrying one is like 0.5 cards. So if you scry two, it's basically drawing a card. It's not. Who said that? Everyone says that. I never said that. I don't sound like that. Scry two is is commonly known. Scry one, is, scrying is is commonly known to be the equivalent of like drawing 0.5 cards. You can't do that. That's not a thing. Cards are whole. There's no water in that. I know. Just vapors. Nadir Kraken. You like this card, don't you? I don't know. Let me see. <laughs> the art is great. No, I like the art. I love the foreground and the background here. Uh, one blue blue for a 2-3. Whenever you draw a card, you may pay one Manus. If you do, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it and create... Yeah, this card's amazing. <laughs> I like this card a lot. I think it's too I think it's too weak. Like a 2-3 body. I mean, it's, it's a card... Like, there's always cards and sets that are like... Uh, if this sits on the battlefield, I'm just going to lose to it, so I have to kill it. Yeah. But they, they never see play. But if they don't kill it, like... It's awesome. You making Like, making a 1-1, one, one, and then it's a 3-4. On, on turn 4, the turn after you play this, you pay 1. You keep a counter spell up yeah, you know for what? 3. It, it doesn't say... And it's a 3-4 with a 1-1. One, one. It counts on your draw step. It does I, every single I like turn. That. I like that. You know what I mean? Like, for yeah. a one-man investment... We should build a Kraken deck I'm, Let's do it. Oh, Kiora best... Oh, yeah, we're doing it. This was also, like, so here's the thing. Me and Rob didn't do our set review before uh, the early Access Streamer event uh, on Twitch. And I, th I feel like it actually hurt me. Like, I didn't have any deck ideas. But as we're going through the set review right now, I have tons of deck ideas and things I want to play. Yeah. So, like, without having, like, done the set review before that the early Access event, I was like, uh, I guess I'll just draft because I don't have any idea what the, what's in the new set. Like, I didn't have enough time to invest in, like, researching the set and what's cool and the cool cards. Nyad of Hidden Coves. Three mana for a 2-3. As long as it's not your turn, spells you cast cost one less. This is, I don't hate it. I don't think it's great. But it's not bad either. It's like a brawl for other turns. I don't like it. I don't think it's any good. Being an enchantment is relevant. I don't think it's any good. Nextborn Seaguard. 2-5 for 4. Hold on. Let's, uh, did, well, did you see the ability? The ability is pretty good. Storm tossed and broken. Kalaf cried out, deep welling th to deep dwelling Thassa. Tritons came swiftly to save her, bringing her north to the Lindus. That's actually pretty strong, I think. In the right deck, that's actually a really, really good flavor text. Uh, it's very good flavor text. Yeah. Yes. How's the card? It's trash. How's it? Omen range? of the Sea. When Omen of the Sea enters battlefield, scry two, then draw a card. Oh, that's real good. I know. So it, basically, it's three mana. Preordain, make a one-one token, and grow my dude. Preordain it even preordain pre don't even have flash, dude. And it's you fair. get a future scry. Two of them. And you get that devotion. Ooh. We're, dude, we have one, two, three, working. four, five, six, seven. We have nine blue cards that are potentially playable, and that's surprising to me. What was the blue card that we were just talking about? Where you could pay? Oh, the giant. Oh, we're making a giant yeah, deck. Kraken crack, crack giant deck. We crack in, we crack in the cracking giants? giant deck. So by the scry math, that's a draw three. No, no, no. Scry is... Well, in total, the total card probably has the value of three cards. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't... I like this card a lot. One with the stars? Or no, no this card. Yes. Okay. One with the stars. Four mana, enchanted permanent is an enchantment and loses all other card types. Oh, it's no longer a creature. Well, that's interesting. So it can't attack? I wish it had flash. But like that would be cool. This is a very typical blue removal spell. Um, I actually think it's interesting the way this is done. Take your place among the stars, says Crewfix God of Rise. That's actually a great. Th the flavor on this card is awesome. I like it. Yeah, this card's great. It's making you a constellation basically. This card's cool. Um, I don't think it's gonna see standard play. You, you would think they would have made it two and two blue because I mean it's weak at four mana, but at least you could say, well, I got some devotion in like a blue devotion deck. Yeah, but. I don't know how relevant that's going to be in limited though, right? And that's where the card is for. You don't want to. You want to be able to like splash this, maybe. Sure. I think this card's good, and I mean obviously limited. Yeah. Um. Well, I mean it's it's blue removal in a sense. Blue removal. Blue removal. Protean thaumaturge for two mana a one 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 Protean thaumaturge one one for one blue. Uh, whenever what did I say? You said thaumaturge. What did you say? Thaumaturge. 
Whenever an enchantment enters your battlefield under your control, you may have it become a copy of another. This is no, this is trash. I hate. I don't this. like this. I hate. I hate, I hate. I hate clones that come into play as trash creatures, <laughs> and then you have to like you fulfill have to do some something. like yeah. I have to fulfill some ridiculous quota Insert to five make bucks. them to make them a clone one time, and I don't get the enters the battlefield ability, which is one of the biggest things, right? Like last four of your social, please. It's like hey, I can copy your Inferno Titan, but I don't get the trigger. Oh dang it. And then you're, yeah, then your Inferno Titan kills my guy anyway because it's a one one. So like, it's just no, just no. Riptide Turtle. This is probably the most offensive card in the set because a turtle having zero power at all. I think one was a little bit of a slight to a turtle, but having zero power, it's just shit. Just get out of here. Do you, do you agree? I don't think this have, turtle injustice will not stand. You have a turtle, and I don't think that your turtle's powerful at all. Not great, Bob. Also, look at the legs on that thing. What do you what? Why does no. it have six? Because no, dude. Yeah. Why does it have six? Why don't you have six? Because I'm a human. Got him. <laughs> Sage of Mysteries. <laughs> a one mana O2. This is Sage of Boop. Sage of Boops. <laughs> I like that you're saying boop for boop now. That's nice. Boop. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, target player put just mill? Get the fuck out of here. Sea God's Scorn. Six. This is. This, I feel like I've seen this card like four yeah, times. Yeah, this is in the printed like year. nineteen times. I'm so tired of it's this like variation of two, things. It's like four and two blue. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna look up blue sorceries, and it's literally always three for six mana. Well, sometimes it's two. Hold on, hold on. Return up to up to creatures. Uh, type line awesome. sorcery. Blue and mana cost is it's always six, right? Always six. Equal to six. Let's find out. Uh, Captivating Gyre was in M20. Return up to three target creatures to their owner's hand. Floodwaters was in Amonkhet. Six mana. Return up to two creatures to their owner's hand. Sea God's Revenge <laughs> was in Theros. Return up to three target creatures and opponent controls to their owner's hand. Sea God's Scorn. Return up to three creatures and our enchantments to their owner's hand. Was this an instant at any point? Let's find an instant. See if it's the, like... In Santa. That's not. Wow, you. Good job. Thanks. He's watching my typos. Water Whirl from Cons returns to two dark creatures to their owner's hand. So these like six mana cards that return two to three creatures to their owner's hand. You know? They suck. I'm done. Shimmerwing Chimera. Four mana for a 3 2. At the beginning of your upkeep, return up to one target enchantment you control to its owner's hand. This ability is very versatile. It doesn't have to do it. So you don't have to return like your own. Your own creature, or your own enchantments, your hand. You can return your preordain thingy. That's true. That's not bad. I like that. It's still it's crappy. I mean, it's still three two for four, which is not the rate you want to look for in constructed. But the ability is great. In blue, this should be a four three flyer. Shoal Kraken, Doctor Shoal's Kraken. Shoal Kraken. Three five for five. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. This is literally the same card from the last set, right? This sucks. This is the same 3-5 that lets you loot every time something happens. Every time. Oh, I'm sorry, did you do something? You go to the bathroom? I'm going to loot. <laughs> All right, something happened, right? I'm loot. Hey, I wasn't looking. Something <laughs> happened? All right, do it. Loot. Oh, wow. I just noticed the art on this card. Yeah, it's Cerberus. Tap one mana. Tap target creature. It doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. It's not Cerberus. It's the card from the set, the hounds. This card is in the set. I mean, it is a Cerberus, but they're they're different puppy it's not heads. A Cerberus. Cerberus is literally the one specific three-headed dog that guards the gates of hell. Like, like it's not. It's like a. It's not. It's not a Cerberus. There's. It's only one Cerberus. Okay. Look up magic. The card. The name Cerberus. Oh, look up magic Cerberus. That's gonna find what we're looking like for. Like MTG. Underworld Cerberus. Yeah, but there's other ones. There's other Cerberi. Cerberi. Uh, it's the gates of Haiti. Wow. <laughs> Take that. Jesus. How did that feel, huh? Yeah. Actually, well, excuse me. It's not called hell in the Greek mythology. It's called Hades. Starlet Mantle. Two I thought Hades was a person. <laughs> did you really? Hades. Is, I thought he was. He was the dude with the hair on fire. You un. From fucking Hercules. Hercules. You uneducated swine. It's uneducated swine. It's not. <laughs> Two mana, flash, enchanted creature you control. When Mantle enters the battlefield, enchanted creature gains hexproof until it So it's it's essentially a counter spell. Yep. But then they get plus one, plus one. Read the flavor text on the last card. Normally, a Cerberus sleeps one head at a time. What? I didn't know that. I didn't know that they sleep one head at a time. 
I'm not sure if they're saying if they told if, if Juposhi told me to read it because it says Cerberus and I'm right, or because it says a Cerberus and you're right. Boom. I don't know. It's hard to say. <laughs> ah, it's funny. Which is funny because they made Cerberus like a multi-numbered creature. Like now it's like, it's like taking a creature like Hercules and now there's, now that's just a type of thing. Like, hey, are you a Hercules? Yeah, I'm a Hercules. You know, it's like you're taking a specific, um, a specific, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a prop, a proper pronoun or a proper noun and turning it just into like a pronoun, right? Like, dude, I don't know what the hell you just said. You you just exploded my brain with all those weird words. Stern dismissal for a blue. Return a creature or enchantment and opponent controls to its owner's hand. It's just unsummon, but it also includes enchantments now. And you can't. It's not unsummon. You can't target your own dude. Oh my god. He's so quick to be right and to correct me. To, to He's so quick. Like you, Cerberus Man? He's so quick to well actually me that he doesn't even let me. Like, like Cerberus Man? You allow me to look like an idiot and then prove me wrong. That's worse. <laughs> no even... one. No, I talk so loud, no one heard what you said. I yell, they listen. Stinging longfish, two man. I love the art on this card. Me too, it's beautiful. It's it is beautiful. Starfish are a favorite, are its favorite prey. Uh, two mana for a two one. Whenever you cast your first spell, mill tap or untap a non land permanent. Nah. Sweet oblivion, two mana. Target player mills four, and then you escape. Get on out. No. Thassa, deep dwelling. That's a weird. Deep dwelling. <laughs> Thassa, deep dwelling. Oh. What does that mean? That's so what a she weird. Hands name. out real deep, man. Four mana for a six five. At the beginning of your neck of your end step, exile up to one other target creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under your control. Oh, that's cool. This is good for my mull drifters. This card's busted. It's very good. And then four mana tap another creature. It's busted. Oh, okay. It wins. You can games. blink your Oh, it's just creature. Dang it. There's a lot of ways to abuse this card. Oh, yeah. Maybe any creature that has an end of the battlefield ability. Not just that. You can steal oh, other people's even... creatures with it. You can steal creatures yes. with it? With with um, active trees and effects. Claim the firstborn. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, you blink them, they become yours for good. Huh. Yes. Turn that creature under you. Oh, shit. You're right. Jeez. Yep. People are saying it. Thassa's intervention. I think all the interventions I've seen so far are very, very good. They are. They are all really good. I love. I love this intervention. This reminds me of um, Dig Through Time. Look at the top X. Yeah, right. But Dig Through Time is so so seven. So this would be nine mana. It's rough. Whatever. I mean, you don't have to look seven deep. Like even looking four deep. If you look, if you pay six mana, you're drawing two cards and looking at top four. It's a little. The, the rate is pretty bad. I'm gonna be it honest. It scales with, you. with the game. It's not because we we already play cards in standard that are pay four mana, instant speed, draw two cards. That's what this is. No. Well, okay. So pay four. Sure. Like that's already played. This is just okay. Better. That's that's a good point. It that's just a good scales point. and it's a counter spell. Like that's. But I'm thinking of there's a card like scry four draw two cost five precognitive perception. I think. No 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 no. no. It's the four mana one. There's a four mana one. There's right? a four mana. This is scry. Yeah, isn't it four C? That costs five, I think. It doesn't, doesn't cost five. It costs four mana. Scry four, then draw two. Four C is... Oh, but it's a sorcery. Sure. That's a big But difference. my point is, if you're looking at the top four and putting two of them in your hand, like, for the same for the same ability, you're paying six, you know? I, I get that. So, I mean, it's still good. And the I, second one is counter target spell unless the control pays twice as much. So, for four mana, they have to pay four. Yeah, it's really good. Or X, you know, yeah, for, to, for a total of four mana. This card's great. Thassa's Oracle. Two mana. Mm. This is interesting because it has like a win the game on it. Two, blue blue for a 1-3 Merfolk Wizard. It's a Lab Maniac. This is literally a better Lab Maniac. Okay, you don't have to yell. This is literally a better Lab Maniac. Okay, you don't have to whisper. When Thassa's Oracle enters the battlefield, look at the top X cards of your library where X is your devotion to blue. So the, the floor here is two, as Rob would say. Because you're always going to have at least two when this enters the battlefield. It's beautiful. What if they kill this while the trigger's on the stack? Then the floor is zero. Okay, so the floor is not but, two. But it was a one for one. If they killed it. Right. Carry on. Huh. Um, let's get rid of that. Whoop, whoop. Uh, okay, so look at the top X where X is your devotion to blue. Put up to one of them on the top of your library and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. So you're just basically looking at the... You're just rearranging your library a little bit. If X is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library, you win the game. So if your devotion is more than the cards in your library, you win the game. That seems 
like it's never going to happen ever. What? Heck yeah, I will. Your devotion is going to be higher than the cards in your library? Yeah. I mean, there there have already been there have already been decks that can win by by milling yourself and winning with Jace. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. As a Risen Reef style decks, things like that. But and this card literally replaces Lab Maniac in every deck that plays Lab Maniac. As a bougie hipster, I don't I don't recognize your your win your win conditions mean? or your strategies. What does that, that even mean? Can you spell bougie? I, you know, bourgeoisie is one of the hardest words I've ever I've ever tried spelling, and I just B O U G I E. Nope, not even close. Okay. Um. So is this playable? It's yeah. a very subset of playable. Right? No, I think this is playable. I think because, like I said, there's a blue uh, devotion deck going around. Why? Wh tell me, why would you prefer? Lab Maniac. I don't prefer either of them. I think they're both terrible cards because I don't play those strategies. Uh, so it's like it's hard for me to put myself in that position and be like, yeah, I'm gonna self mill until I can. Literally play my though, the Oracle. only difference between this card and Lab Maniac and Lab Maniac being better, the only argument would be Lab Maniac costs two colorless and one blue. Lab Maniac requires another card to win. This card doesn't. This card wins on the spot. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, like it's just like. I, I don't know. It's, like, it's literally just better. It wins on the spot. Like, again, we're now talking about this card versus Lab Maniac. But it doesn't because you have to have a certain amount of, of, of devotion, right? No, it is the devotion. Lab Maniac decks, you have no deck. I can kill this guy on the spot, though, right? Like, I mean... You can kill Lab Maniac. Right, that's why I don't think that's great either. You're not but, no, but I'm saying in, in decks that Lab Maniac is a win con... This card is just better. I agree with you, but I'm saying this isn't I'm like... I'm talking to chat. I'm not saying you're not. You're not agreeing with me. No. I'm just saying this isn't like an all-around playable blue card. Like, hey, man, pick no, up four of these. No, absolutely I'm not. saying it'll probably have a, a deck, but, but I don't think it's standard, like a good I card. Think this is, I think this is playable. In standard? Yes, I do. I think there is absolutely a blue devotion deck going around, and it absolutely plays this card. How is it milling itself? Just you. No, it, but you're looking you're at... You're just playing... You're just, you're not, you're, you're just you're playing ignoring the, card, the win the game effect. Yeah. You just want the one three for two blue... Yeah, that adds that, two to that adds that, two, that, two that, devotion. That gives you like a and it lets you see like the top of your card. Effect, sure. Yeah, that's good. It's not bad. Do I write it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Oracle, sure. This is three three cards of Thassa in the name already. Thirst for me. Oh, that's gone. This card on list can't too. win against Torb you, you, well, that yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, but uh, yeah, got him. Dang it! Got Draw him. three, then discard two, unless you discard an enchantment card. This card's nuts. Like, I, I had to read this card and reread this card, and I'm like, they don't make draw threes at instant speed anymore. Like, this is on par with Frantic Search. If you don't have an enchantment in hand, you're drawing... No, Frantic Search is draw two, discard two. So you're you're actually losing a card with Frantic Search because you're you're pitching three cards with yeah. with Frantic Search itself and netting two. This is you at least break even if you don't have an enchantment. And at instant speed, that's fine because you can just sandbag your lands. This card is just ridiculous, dude. I mean, uh, the last draw three at instant speed for three mana was literally thirst for knowledge, as far as I can tell. Painful truths, like your sorcery speed. Ones. Yeah, all of the sorcery speed ones are are you know compulsive compulsive research, which came out in Ravnica, which is slightly after Mirrodin. Um, even that was a sorcery. And that was basically, this is basically compulsive for an enchantment instead of a land. Like, compulsive and thirst for knowledge are the same card. One is an, an enchantment, an artifact base, one is land base, and this one is enchantment base. They're all the same card. But the fact that it's instant is just, it's kind of mind blowing to me. Sweet. Drawing three cards is basically like milling yourself three cards. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, it's basically you just, yeah. <laughs> Thren oh. Threnody Singer. Two mana for a 1-3 flyer with flash. When it enters the battlefield, a creature gets negative X, negative 0, where X is your devotion. This is just basically the fairy... Be better version of the fairy, yep. yeah. What's Is that good? Fairy Vant? What's, no. What's the, no, I don't think so either. Thrix. That's the a, sudden storm. This card's play, 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 play the thick boy. Oh, Thassa's Thas Oracle. Don't need a dollar. Thassa's Oracle here, Frank. Just letting you know. I went on the spot. Don't be stupid. Big fan. <laughs> Fast as Oracle, thank you so much. I put you on the list, so I appreciate you chiming in here. You made the cut. Four five flash flyer for five play spells. It. You can't what? Play the thick boy. Look at him. Play the thick boy. Damn boy, he's thick boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. Seriously, he's thick. 
That's I, a thick I, ass boy. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Spells you cast with Verdamant cost five or greater, cost one less, and can't be countered. The fact that this has flash is pretty unbelievable to me. Like, it's just literally like Mahamodi Dijin. Remember Mahamodi Dijin back in five, the day? Five six flyer for, for, for six, six with yeah. no other ability. This costs one less, and it's a four five, but it has flash, and it discounts your future cards, and it has two blue devotion. Yeah, this card's great. Love it. I want to play this card. Do you? I do. Okay. It's your choice. There's so many flash cards in this set that I'm like... Thank you. I know. It's blue eye controls obviously back. I don't know. Like, I was trying to tell this to Rob <laughs> earlier, but, like, there's so many flash <laughs> cards that you never have to play anything on your fucking turn. It's yeah. unbelievable. Blue eye controls back, dummy. Water Sports Drew, what's up, my dude? Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. I appreciate you, my man. It's always good seeing you, buddy. Towering Wave Mystic. Two mana for a 2-1. When it deals damage, target player puts that many cards Thank from the graveyard on their, of their the, from the top of their library into their graveyard. This card's actually great with Thassa's Oracle because you can attack yourself and then mill yourself for that many. I kind of want a crickets. Should That's I get false. a crickets? A crickets you soundbite? You should. Absolutely. I can play it like right there. You should. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, because then we could do this when you play the. We can go. Yeah. All right. Hold on. I'm putting that in the thing. <laughs> crickets. What was the other one we said? I can't remember. What was the other? What was the other? Um, well, you have somebody to, should have put in. You Let should have one here for chat. me when I'm here, and it should it should be damn it, Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. Yeah, oh, that's it actually should, oh, that's actually should, pretty good. It should be for when when I don't read a card or something stupid. Damn it, Bobby. That actually should be an emo. Oh my god, can we put my face with Hank Hill on an emote? Because then chat would spam the crap out of that. Stupid Jawa, sixty nine months. Thank you, fifty nine months. Shit. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate you. Sixty. That's almost five years, my that's dude. Insane. What? That's almost five years, my dude. 60 months. That's right by 12. That's I thought five you said years. 69. He said 69. They said, wait, I can't read 59. It's oh, 59. okay. okay right okay. there. I'm like, uh, that's bad. Triton now. Wave Rider. Four mana for a 3 3. Whenever an enchantment battlefield, give it flying. It's boopy. It is hot trash, my dude. No, that was definitely the robot sound was definitely not there. No, I forgot what the sound effect was. There was a good sound effect that we. Damn it, Bobby. God dang it. If you're watching on YouTube, comment on what the sound effect was because you can probably go back and find it much easier than I can. Vexing Gull. Another, this is like it's just, this is your your typical Windrake. 2-2 two, two for 3, but it just has flash for some reason. It looks cute. Because it's going to swoop in and take that fish. But, uh. The guy in the back's pissed. Yeah. It's my dinner. Wave Break Hippocamp. It was, I don't think it was Toy Laser Blasters. Was it? I don't think so. 2-2 two, two for 3. Okay, good deal for a rare. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's... Oh, I like that, though. This card sucks. Really? Yeah, it's a trap. You really want to spend 3 mana on your turn in a flash deck to play a 2-2? Two, two? Get out of here. This card sucks. Draw an extra card every turn, though. No, you don't. You have to yeah, you spend do. a card to draw a card. Uh-huh. I'm going to play... Thirst for knowledge, meaning, meaning, and then I'm gonna draw four cards. Horse fish seems bad. I hate you guys. I like it. I want it. I want more of it. Whirlwind and denial. This card seems great. Love God, there, it. dude. There's so many playable cards. This is unbelievable. Love it, dude. This. Remember, you said you said to me earlier. You said there's so many. There's there's people playing so many cards from this new set and standard. Yes. I'm not surprised because what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is 15 blue cards that we've already seen. This is way higher than other sets. It's got to be, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're normally at like high, like six or seven. But it's not too much effort to draw one extra card. Like, you're doing it already, right? Like, you already have. No, it, it You is have too much Omen effort. of the Sea. No. Which lets you draw a card. You have. Yes, because you're not tapping on it in your turn. You're holding up a counter spell. Glimpse of Freedom. And they don't cast something you want to counter, and then you play your flash card. Oh the hippo, the, the hip, hippo fish, it sucks. It sucks. People who think like you're playing a flash deck, so you can't play anything without flash. Just those people are so you're right. stupid. There's other stuff you can play. It's Witness of Tomorrow's. Info. It's a Sphinx for five mana. It's a three four. It's majestic. It looks like an old ass wizard. It, does. it looks like an old ass Rastafarian wizard with some <laughs> dread, some dreads in his in his beard, like confetti cake wings. Hey man, I'm gonna make you scry <laughs> for. Five. Give me the four mana. Hey, I'll make you scry, huh? I give you a peek. Yeah. Huh? So this is four mana to scry one. I give. <laughs> I give you a peek, huh? <laughs> give me four manners, I give you the peek, huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> give me the... Let you see what's under these wings. 
Okay, don't make it weird. I thought so. I was hey, to take do. a look under the wing, man. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! It's got like a coat. You're like, you know, give me four bucks, I'll let you oh, see the merchandise, God. and then you pay me for what you want. This would be a little offensive. If the accents weren't so big. Yeah, it's, of course. <laughs> it's terrible. It's basically the guy's like, it's listen, it's four bucks to see it, but once you see it, it's gonna cost you some more to touch it. That's what. That's what. what? That's what he's saying. No, don't no. like that. <laughs> Oh, damn, right. it, Bo- damn it, Bobby! All right, well, that's it for the that's it for the blue <laughs> cards. If you guys are watching on YouTube, be sure to, take, to check the description. We will have a list of all the cards that we think are playable uh, in constructed formats. Hey, man, come on and check out the sky, man. All right, so agonizing <laughs> remorse for uh, yeah, right, man. Someone said, someone said it taps a marijuana and gets a little <laughs> vision of the future. Oh yeah, that's Mark. Mark is great, man. Mark is great. Oh, Bob Marley Sphinxes. If you don't know what we're joking about, go watch the end of the last video. Guys, how many blue cards? How many how many weeds do you have to tap in order four. to activate? Four weeds? Four. Well, he's so old, he's been using a little while, so it costs a little more than normal. Yeah, that's, you, that's I know how it goes. You gotta I know invest a little more weeds I know in how order it goes. to see the future. <laughs> <laughs> Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it or a card from their graveyard. Exile that card. You lose a life. That's interesting. It's like it's like a half-assed thought It's a like really all right, ha- literal. All right, look, we're gonna we're gonna charge you one more, but you can hit a graveyard if you don't like what you see, and you lose a, you lose one life instead of two. And I'm like, eh, I'm good. This is like if you're in New York and they're like, hey, I got Louis Vuitton over here for twenty bucks, but you got Pouy Vuitton for and, and yeah, and you're 10? like, that's not Louis Vuitton, that's Louis Vuitton. That's Louis. totally different. Louise. Why this is there an E at the end of that? This will be, this will be played in standard. It's not the same. It's this, this will you said? Yes. Okay. Yep. I mean, two mana is still fine. I don't think, and, and it hits anything that's not land. And you like being able to exile their their Elspeth yeah, in the late exactly. game when they have no. The fact that this hits escape cards when they have no cards in hand, so it makes it very very good in the late. It game. also hits in early in the game too. Like their Uro, you can exile it permanently. Their what? Uro. What? Where? What? Uro. Any of the gods really? Ophemia, the cacophony. That's what I call Rob sometimes when he's not here. I'm like, yo, what up, Ophemia the Cacophony? I thought it's cacophony. I know you did, buddy. <laughs> I know you did. See, that's the thing about Rob. Like, he's saying that, and he, he wants to pass it off as a joke, but I know it's true. It's true. <laughs> I know he thought it was cacophony. I wanted to, because I want to feel it out. You know what I mean? I yeah, want to know how out, people, I want to know how people feel about it. Feel it out. That's why I'm insecure. Feel it out. All right. Cacophony. 2 1 for 2. At the beginning of your end step, you may exile an enchantment card from your graveyard if you do create a 2 2. This card's great. It is really good. I, wa- I, mean, I was watching someone play with it today. It's a 2 1 for 2 flyer. It like, was good. It doesn't, it can't only block flyers. Uh, it doesn't have to attack each turn. It's just a literal 2 1 flyer for 2 that has all the abilities of a creature. It's like on, on the draw. Do, like Oh, and it's at the beginning of your end step, too, yes. so you can get it on the same turn. So like actually... you, if you're on the draw, you go turn one, dead weight, kill your one drop. Turn two, play this, make a 2-1 flyer, and get a 2-2. Two, two, your turn. Wow, 14 months, somebody supports this wonderful and entertaining. Cassius, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate you. You are awesome, my dude. So another nice thing about this is that it happens at the end step, not during your upkeep. Yeah. So if you play this guy and they have sorcery speed removal, yep. you can still get still, another 2-2. Still getting something out of it. So it's possible you're still getting a 2-1 flyer and a 2-2 zombie. For two mana. This card's... I like it. It's, this card's it's very good. I like that I'm having a good idea of the cards I want to craft here. Cacophony. Do you know how to spell cacophony? Cacophony. I do know how to spell cacophony. The problem with the, these memes that we do about word pronunciation is that I then begin to pronounce these words cacophony. this way. And then I forget the real pronunciation. It's very weird. It's Ephemia, the cacophony. As... <laughs> Aspect of Lamprey. Four mana. Enchanted creature. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent discards two cards, and the creature gets lifelink. This is just an upgrade to almost like uh, I feel like Strands this, of Undeath. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But I feel like this you, art has been know. used before. It has not. I feel like there's like a Yeah, Strands black... of Undeath was four mana from, from Ravnica. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, target player discards two cards, and you can regenerate the creature. This is lifelink instead, so... Some aspire to be mighty, like the lion or the hydra. I am the parasite that feeds on them all. Oh, that's a great, that's a great flavor text. Is it? It's weird, man. <sighs> okay, so hey, what's this? What's this guy? Tell me this guy's name. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's, it's uh, Blight Brad Catab Catablepus. Catablepus. <laughs> Catablepus. Brad? Did you say Bright Brad? Yeah, it's pronounced Brad. Oh, that's Bright Brad Catablepus. Blight Brad Catablepus. What Brad? It's just how that's, that's his name. That's just how it's pronounced. You yeah. know how English is? That's pronounced. You know how English is? 
You don't know how English how, you don't you know how English do. Catablepus. When, when Bright Breath Catablepus enters Brad. the battle. <laughs> Brad, his name is Brad. His name is Brad. For six mana for a three two, like just stop. Just I just want to pass it right now. <laughs> and a creature gets negative X, negative X, where X is your devotion to black. I mean, this is trying to do its best like Shriek Maw impression, but like it's hard because mm -hmm. the floor, as Rob would say, is negative two, negative two. I said that once today. Uh, he, it's, it's You've a, literally it's said it twice. It's a recurring theme. So not good enough, right? It's no Shriek Maw. It's no Ravenous Chupacabra. Get rid of this thing. Cling to dust. I like this card. That's what I That's what I do in my friendship with Rob. I, I'm just clinging to dust here. Exile target card from a graveyard. If it was a creature card, you gain three. Otherwise, you draw a card. Oh, that's... It cycles. It's, it's Cremate. This card is really good. It's just kind of Cremate. And it just sits in your graveyard, and you can just Dude. casually, like, draw more cards in late yep. game. Oh, that's good. Yes. I mean, four mana... You can and use it's it to gain life. Too, so, like, yeah, you can turn, use it to gain like, life. You can use ooh, it to draw a card. This is, like, kind of like... A, this is, like, the death right Shaman of Instance. Kind of, actually. It's a good like, way to put hey, it. hey, I need to gain life. I'll exile your creature. Hey, I need to draw a card. I'll exile your escape card. At the worst, it cycles. So, like, it's never, yeah. like, a dead card in your deck. Yeah. This card's great. I like this card a lot. I want to marry this card. You can have it. I don't want to do it's that. It's yours. Don't tell Katie I said that. 2-1 for 2. When Discord and Piper dies, create an 0-1 white goat token creature. This is great for limited. I mean, any creature that, like, turns into another creature when it dies is In fine. a Woe Strider deck, it's it's a good card. It's two bodies. Oh, whoa. Is it good in... in you mean Constructor? In, in Constructed. Really? May, maybe. I'll put it on the maybe pile. You're going to put it in the pile of cards you typed. Do you really think so? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's close. I'm backtracking, but it's close. Can we get a vote in the chat? Is this guy one for yes, put it on the list? Zero for no, don't put it on the list. That's pretty binary. There's nothing in there. <laughs> zero, 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 zero. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wow, no one fucking agrees with your shit, your shit piper, Squiggle okay? does. That's four. That counts as four votes. Does not do that. I would like you to look at the zombie satyr and say toot toot. <laughs> doot doot. Oh, Lord. Drag to the underworld. Yes. Four mana. This spell costs X less where X is your devotion to black. So, so if you play this card as a permanent, and then you count your devotion as you're playing it, uh, then it only costs two, right? I don't know what the hell you just said. Think about it. Yeah, Drag to the Underworld seems great. This card's so good. I love this card. It is a it is an instant creature removal. It's it's it reminds you of uh, Murderous Cut. It is an instant creature removal with a with a cost reduction based on the sets. In a black aggro deck, like this is this is what you want. Even a black mid range deck. If you have a black planeswalker out, this is a two mana sure. removal spell for any creature. Yeah, There's this, no this is not non black, want. which is thankfully black cards do not remove only non black non artifact creatures anymore because I hate that. But I think this could be good, but almost certainly isn't. That's how I feel about it. Maybe eat, use, may not. Eat to extinction. Uh, four mana. Exile target creature, planeswalker. Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card in your. Yeah, this card seems fine. So good. I mean, the, here's the thing: in modern Magic, in modern sets, you're always going to need a Vraska's Contempt type card, and this is your Vraska's Contempt type card. You meant in current Magic sets, not modern the format. Yes, current okay. is much better than modern. Actually, yeah. thank you for. That's a good distinction. Hey, Birdman, you like mouth? That's a good extinction. <laughs> hey, Birdman, you like mouth? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? What? Oh, is this bird? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus, look at this Attack on Titan nightmare <sighs> fuel over here. Yeah, this card's great, yeah, too. Yeah, that's some scary shit. Elspeth's Nightmare. This card seems great, I like it this not? card a lot. Okay, good. I'm glad we're on but the But I think it's page. a sideboard card. I, I was building in the decks I was building. I had it in a side car, sideboard. I had it in a sidecar? I would pull it out because I'm like, if I'm bringing this in versus a deck that I'm trying to remove a two-power creature, I don't want to spend my third turn killing a two-drop. Guys, can we make... Uh, main cabin and sidecar, the new terms for magic. Cabin. Like, if you play a card in your main deck, you can call it I play in my main cabin. And then, if like, if it's, if it's just a sideboard card, you just say in your sidecar. So, main cabin and sidecar are the new are the new hotness, guys. Spread the word. Tell your friends. All right. So, the first part of the saga: three mana, destroy a creature and opponent controls a power two or less. Like, that's a pretty, that's a pretty standard black removal spell. That's crap. It's not great, but it, it's it's crap. But you know, there's more coming. It's, right, so you're that's good a, with it. right. That's the thing, right? It's it's not great, but it's understandable because of it's a package deal. Yep. It's like getting my internet for only thirty bucks because I'm also getting cable and phone service. You know what I mean? I'm not, but.
but that's 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 a good comparison. I, I I made the comparison, and I'm already saying it's good. So I'm judging my own comparison, which is probably not good to do, but it's done. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-creature, Duress. not. <laughs> Target opponent, Duress. <laughs> I'm like in the middle of reading, and he's just like, Duress. Okay. You choose a non-creature, non-land card from it. That player discards that card. It's a That's a Duress. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And then for three, you exile their graveyard, which is relevant in the standard form, it feels like. It is, but here's your problem, it right? It is. What deck is going to let yep. you play this card, kill a creature, right? Uh-huh. A, a, something, a small powered creature, so let's assume a one or a two drop, and then what is the likelihood that you're going to hit a, a spell? Like, maybe you're hitting Nissa, you're killing a dork and then hitting a Nissa. That's obviously amazing, but... I, it's it's I have to play this card has to be played with to to determine if it is as good as it may seem to be. Shut up. Sorry. <laughs> and it, <laughs> <laughs> he goes on this feel I'm just like shut up. Just sh- dude, just, just shut, shut up. up. God. Shut up. Shut up. I don't bring you here to talk, man. And it, just look pretty goddamn it. Enemy of enlightenment. 6 mana for a 5/5 five, five flyer. It gets negative one. What I got it. What I'm paying 6 mana for a 5/5 five, five flyer and I have a fucking I have <laughs> a a drawback. drawback? It gets neg one, neg one for each card in your opponent's hand. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player, each... I get a discard, too? Fucking get out of my face. Get out of my face! Buddy, maybe maybe in Kamigawa... No, not even then. Kokusho would eat you alive. You're done. You, you're trash. I just want to keep looking at you and tell you that you're trash. What card is Rob? I want to know what card's Rob. If this had, like, a cost reduction, like, the ability for both players to discard a card, like, that kind of symmetry is good because you can take advantage of it when your opponent can't, and that's a Liliana-esque effect. But this is six mana, so, like, how many cards A does your opponent have in their hand? And, like... B? It's six mana. Like, come on. All right, so hold on. I'm holding on. Not you, chat. No. Go back. What? So are you guys saying that I'm the, the, the demon, or are you guys saying that I'm the enemy of enlightenment? You're the damn Cataplepus is what you are, my dude. Cataplepus. Erebos, bleak card. it. Okay. Whenever another creature you control dies, you may pay two if you do draw. That's such a steep life payment. Sacrifice another creature. Target creature gets negative two, negative one. So if you happen to kill a creature with this, right, you can pay two, kill one of their guys, and pay two and draw a card. What? What do you mean kill a creature? Oh, using his ability to kill a Correct. creature? No, dude, you're using this with oven. Which is oven? And cat. Is that... Do you think that combo is going to be too... No. It's just annoying. But how, is, how do you deal with it? You destroy the oven. Eat the cat. Can't keep cooking if you eat it. Okay, but realistically, like it's very hard to deal with the cat. I mean, we've already been dealing. We, but stuff. real. I mean, we've already been dealing with that in standard for how long now? Isn't that like the top deck in standard though? Jun sacrifice, probably the highest percentage deck. Okay. 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 But I mean, it. That that. Combo alone doesn't... Re- I think Corvold really pushes that deck over the top, honestly. Gamma said, do you have another account that you use? All right, so you like this card? Gam- yeah, Gamma said, said in chat earlier it's that Gamma said Thwok. No, Thwok is his brother. Yeah, I know. Gamma said took Thwok. Thwok oh. took Gamma said's phone. Oh, so yeah. Gamma said Thwok right now. Got it, got it, got it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's interesting. This will never become a creature. His ability is the opposite of devotion. Right. It's funny because, like, you're sacking your creatures. Oh, sure. So, like, you're literally... This is a card that removes its devotion. Yeah. Uh, Erebos is... In, yeah, the problem with Cry of the Carnarium is that they just sack their cat in response. And no, it goes that, to the that doesn't matter. Cry, Cry says any creature that's gone to the graveyard gets exiled. So any Even if cre- it's already gone to the Correct. graveyard? Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Cry, cry literally... Okay. If, they, if they have a cat on board and you cry, it's gone. If they have a cat on board and you cry, it's if gone. You, if you show them and shed a little tear... They'll be nice enough to get rid of the cat. If you cry, it's gone. Mm-hmm. Target creature... Cats hate crying. That's why they leave. Target creature gets negative X, negative X until end of turn, and you gain X life. That's good. This I love this card. By the way, this this card is the card that was designed to be able to kill the four mana legendary dude that is basically like um, protection from everything. They have a four mana, four, three. That's, have we gotten there yet? No. Then why don't we wait? Because no one knows what the fuck you're talking about. Unbelievable, man. <clears throat> you're referencing cards that haven't even been shown yet. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm gonna hold it in my head. I don't. Why don't we it, get so there? You can wait. be like, hey, okay. remember Erebos' intervention? It did this. That was designed. I'm to gonna deal do with that this. now. Go ahead. How do you know that? How do you know that? By the way, what? was it? Was it? How do you know that? Was that like written? Did someone write that? No. 
that that's just common sense because you can alter the casting cost to equal whatever is not chosen by that card. Exile to twice X, where X is the you know cards in the graveyard. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, yeah, this card's good. I mean, like, I feel like I'm gonna write down all of the all of the interventions. Thank you, Monkey Knife Fight. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back, my dude, my man. Final Death, five mana, exile a creature. That's cool, man. That's real cool. Fruit of Tizirus. Tizirus. Tizirus? Tizirus? Are you just not going to talk? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I called you out for that. God. I just don't want to forget what I was going to say. Okay. I, I, you'll remember. We'll I get there. I can't think and talk at the same time. You know this. I'm sorry. It's okay. I didn't want to say anything. I've learned to live with it. One black. This card sucks. Target player loses two life. It does suck. If this is an instant, it would still suck. What blew that man's head? Uh, nothing. Shut it's just up in and shadow. Take I my think. money. Okay. Stopping me to rob, or you're gonna get the Ray train? Who's Ray? Who, why does he have a train? And how is it getting here? There ain't no tracks. There ain't no tracks. <laughs> uh, funeral rites. Three mana. You draw two. We're only on F. How many free yeah, cards? Yeah, we need to hurry. Well, this is the. We're almost done with this. This half. You half. Draw, well, this half of the set. I know. Yeah. We're at, now we're in 25 minutes. Like it takes two hours. It takes an hour and a half per. So it takes three hours for the whole review. That's, All right, man. Draw two cards, lose two life, and put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. This is. I feel like we see this card too every different set. They're like, this card right. sucks. Get out of here. But instead of surveil, instead of instant speed, you gain one life. Instead of scry two, target player. Put the top two into the graveyard. <laughs> yeah, like they just changed. Like they modify it just a little bit. Gravebreaker Lamia, five mana for a four four with lifelink. I like this card. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for a card, put it in your graveyard, then shuffle your library. You like Dahlia's Lancers, don't you? I do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I like four fours for five with cool abilities that have this incremental, incremental ability. That Spells you cast from your graveyard cost one. I don't think it's unplayable. You put an escape card in your graveyard, you put like an Elspeth in there. Have you looked at the cost of most escape cards? What's your, yeah, but they cost one less. And like, it's a four four four. Like, wait, you're, this is a four 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 five that basically draws you a card. Like, it essentially draws you a card. It's an escape card, right? Like, hmm. I like it. It's going on my list. Guys, can you put a zero in chat if this card is not playable? One if this should go on the list. One. Zero if it should not go on the list, guys. All right. And and, and feel free to be honest, too. He'll be all right. I'll rub his shoulders. Ten. Six. Pretty divided. We're like, we're solid. I see a lot of... Over I, 50% here. We're 60% you. Bunch of idiots. Josh, you don't have to say zero and you don't think it's very good. That's implied when you say zero. Okay. <laughs> God, <laughs> Jesus! You guys, unbelievable! I can't believe you guys actually think this card is playable. A five mana card. Do you think standard five is like super four? broken and, and like? Yes, dude. There are three mana cards that do stuff better than this. Risen Reef is better than this card. It's a one one. It doesn't matter. That is how can you compare those two cards? This like, card's that's terrible. So weird, dude. This card's so bad. This card's real bad, man. Batman. I don't know, man. It's bad. Standard. I guess we'll find out. Gray Merchant of Asphodel. Put it on the list. You Let's skip her. It's, I don't even want to talk about it. As long as this card has the same text that it did last time, I'll just assume that Tell it's Tell me how be... you feel about this card. I fucking hate it. Do you really? I do. It's card. This card is... This card is... is Okay, so this card gives you me PST, PTSD. Like, even if it's not broken now, I see it and I cringe. And I'm just like, oh, God, I'm going to take 12 out of nowhere. Just for no reason. I hear you, man. Like, I don't know. Okay, so let's talk about let's okay, Gravebreaker Lamia. If you put the card in your hand, would that be different for you? No, it's still crappy. So really, if it's a four four for five with lifelink that draws you a card. Lifelink is irrelevant. Let's just say that. Okay, so you would play a Muldrift that's a two two for five that draws you two cards, but you wouldn't play a four four with lifelink that draws you one card. Are right, you're asking if I would pay five mana to draw two cards and have a two two flyer? No, I'm asking you, like, is is the difference that significant for you? Yes. That's crazy to me. Yes. Man. Like, that card to me is not even close to being playable. The only way that card becomes playable is... Was but it's it, any card you get to choose. Like, is it legendary? If you have four different, like, escape cards in your deck, like, you get to pick which one, like, is useful to you at the time. Like, you can literally put, like, um... Was it legendary? Who? That card. Was no. it legendary? Okay. It's just... It also has an enchantment that, like... Yeah. I mean, like... What's the, uh... The one you really liked? The one that, uh... Cling to Dust? Like, you can just put a Cling to Dust in your graveyard. Like... Yeah. I don't know, man. Just having access to that seems really, really good. And and basically, cling to dust. If I did that, I exiled five cards in my graveyard. Mm -hmm. I pres I'm I, presuming you're going to build around that. Like you're going to have escape cards. Okay, in the sure. But I'm just saying, I I exiled five cards from my graveyard. I paid nine mana. 
I got a four four and drew a over card. the course of two turns though. Like you're saying, you paid nine mana, that, but like, but even that's like saying, turns. oh, if I draw six drop with Mall Drifter, I paid eleven mana. Dude, the investment is too much. It's not an investment. It is. No, you're tacking on the cost of the card you're playing to the cost of the card. <laughs> like, you're, so if I have an, if I draw an Inferno Titan with with Mull Drifter, that's saying it cost me eleven mana to play I, Inferno I get Titan. Point. It's not true. That's too much. Man. That's disingenuous. That's it's, not correct. It's too much. And I lied. It wasn't. It wouldn't have been eight, nine mana. It would have been eight because. The card costs one less. I forgot about that. When Grim Physician dies, target creature in it. Anyway, like I know, I appreciate the discussion though. That's no, the thing. I, know, like, I know. I appreciate the discussion and I like talking it out because I think that's important. Okay, that's a good point. If there was an escape removal spell, I could see that. Have we not seen one yet? No, there isn't one. Okay. When Grim Physician dies, target creature and opponent controls gets negative one, negative one until so this is this is your typical like one one for one that can take down Festering a two goblin. two. Yeah. I want to slap the mask off that thing for some reason. That's it's aggressive. aggressive. Exactly. Hateful Eidolon. One mana for a one-two. Did anybody remember what the friggin' me what the friggin' sound bite we were gonna put on the board was? Hateful Eidolon. Damn it, Bobby. Hateful Eidolon. That's a that's the Quentin Tarantino version. The hateful Eidolon. Oh, I get it. One Doesn't for a one two with lifelink. Whenever an enchanted creature dies, draw a card for each aura you control that was attached to it. I'll put this in my boggles dip. I'm gonna be like, hey buddy, I got my boggle. You gonna kill it with my Liliana? I'll draw four. Oh, I, by the way, I'm gonna get some Rancors back. I'm gonna take them Rancors with me. I mean, yeah, if you ever have this guy in play and they make you sacrifice a permanent in Boggles, you're probably just sacrificing this, so. Yeah, I don't think this card's great. Like, I think you're, I think this is like, hey, if you put all your eggs in one basket, you could draw some cards for your eggs, but then I'm like, but I'd rather <laughs> just not play the eggs to begin with, I guess. Inevitable end, three mana. Uh, Enchanted creature has, at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. I don't like it. Three mana, so like. Yeah, all right. Well, I mean, if it's their only creature, like, it's not bad, but it's still, like... Wouldn't you just play a card that makes them sacrifice a creature? Wouldn't you just play a card that kills a creature? Yeah. <laughs> the difference is, is it can kill, like, indestructible things. That's what it is. Yeah, okay, sure. But, I mean, like, there's better sacrifice effects, I imagine. Correct. Um. Lamp... Wait, what's great with dead weight? Oh, this card? Oh, that is good, yeah. You play this on one, you put your dead weight on their guy, and you draw, you draw a, card. a card. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty good. I like that. <clears throat> inevitable end for three man oh he just did that <laughs> <laughs> Lampad of death's vigil two mana for a one three sacrifice creature each opponent loses a life and you gain a life i like it i love sacrifice outlets when they cost zero I haven't had one of those for a while minions I mean. return three mana enchant creature when enchant creature dies return to the battlefield under your control the only thing that kind of saves this is flash but yep. it's that doesn't really way too much i'm not paying that meyer triton this is creepy because it's a zombie merfolk i don't is that that's weird. it is I mean, now. is that like a thing that's been... A, has that ever been done I've before? I've never seen that before, no. Okay. Well, it's a 2-1 for 2 with Death Touch, so that's not bad. Mm -mm. We play... And like, typically 1-1s one for 1 with Death Touch. Typhoid Rats have seen sideboard play and stuff. Uh, when Meyer Triton enters the battlefield, put the top two cards of your library in your graveyard and gain two. It's not bad. It's okay. Like, you would play Lone Missionary, right? Lone Missionary is a card that saw play. It was a 2-1 for 2 that gained you four life. Yeah. This is a 2-1 for 2 that gains you two so life, but also has Death synergy, Touch. It's just better. So, like, it eats a thing... It could help you hit an escape card, and you also gain two. This actually does a lot. Yeah, I don't know. I could see this being. I can see this being played too. The death I, touch really. I can't picture a deck, but I, I guess I could see it played. I'm gonna put it on the list. I think it's good enough. I think it's good enough. I think it's doing a lot of things. <laughs> Myers grasp two. This is this is weird art. It's another card that goes with that idol on. Enchanted creature gets neg three, neg three for two mana. That's not bad. The only problematic part of this is is that it is uh, a sorcery speed card, right? I wish it was plus three, negative three. But it's the same. It's the same. Oh, that's interesting. Um, it's the same. Well, not if it goes in your opponent's guy. If your opponent has a four four, though, I don't make it a seven one. No, but that's the point. You could use it on your guy or theirs. I understand that, yeah. but I'm saying like, if it, if it's just this, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like an exclusively removal spell. Then, like, I'd rather make their 4 4 one one than have the potential to make my guy bigger. You right. know, like, I think that is better. But, like, two mana for neg three, neg three, it's last it's last gasp, which saw play. And, like, this is deader weight, someone said. Yeah, Rob would rather be nameless inversion than last gasp. Um, but I was thinking the um, colorless one. Can't that's remember. nameless inversion. No. No, the colorless oh, one. Um, yeah, but that's not black. So, no, it's not black. It, it had nothing to do with color. But nameless inversion was black. So, like, I'm comparing it to the card that's literally the same cast and cost, same color. And you're like, I'm comparing the same casting costs. No, not the same color. We're done. <clears throat> I don't, is this playable? Neck three, neck three for two? No. In, in an enchantment deck, yeah. I saw it played today. And I mean, it it's, also good. it's also Devotion. Was I, it in Constructed? Yes. Then it got, it's got to go. Yeah, and it was played in the top 15 of Ladder, too. 
Well, then that's a yes. How is that not a yes? Because I don't know if the deck's real. We don't have to, though. If we if we only put cards on the list that, the, that, that are in <clears throat> decks that are real, like tier one decks, like that's then we have no list. Fair. Mogus's favor. One mana for plus two negative. See, there's your plus two negative one. Yeah. And look, it's got escape. You can put it in the graveyard. You could buy it back to kill a noble hierarch. I don't think it's that great. This sucks. Nightmare Shepherd, four mana for a four four flyer. All right, you already you you got my you have my interest. Whenever another non token creature you control dies, you may exile it. If you do create a token that's a copy of it, it's, except it's a one one and nightmare. Now you have my attention. This card's sweet. Or the other way around, I think. This card is real sweet. This card is nice, dude. Yep. Wow. Also, there's a card in Hearthstone that makes a cop that when it comes into play, uh, it makes a copy of a creature, but it's a one one. So this is funny how like they almost borrowed uh. They almost borrowed that from Hearthstone. Let's make a copy and make it a 1-1. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can exile your own Grey Merchant and then uh, yep. make a 1-1 Grey Merchant. Who cares if it's not a 2-4? That card's great. Here's a... F okay, so 4-4 four, four Flyer for 4. 4-3, four, nothing for 4. Mm, okay. Um, it's good. It's not, not good. Okay. Omen of the Dead, 1 mana. You can flash it in, obviously, because they all can. When it enters the battlefield, return a creature from your graveyard to your hand. For one mana, it's just a raise dead yeah. that sits on the ward, and then later in the game you can scry to. It's not terrible. It's not good. It's, it's not, not terrible. It's it's not the worst. It's not terrible. Get your Grey Merchant back. Get your Nightmare Marauder. Sh nope, don't do that. Okay. Thank For you. Rika's Libation. Getting a little drink. Mangar, thank you so much for the re-year. Re the re-year. The re-sub, re buddy. One year, man. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for the rear. Farika's Libation. Three mana. Choose one. Rob sacrifices a creature or Rob sacrifices an enchantment. This is playable. It will see play. Wow. I didn't even know this wow. existed. It's until... playable and it'll see play? <laughs> Get out of here. I didn't even know I didn't even know this card, exi this card existed until I was building the decks earlier. And I came across this when I was looking for black cards. Okay, so black card that makes you second enchantment is pretty insane. I've never yes. I've never seen that before in my life. Yes. Um and that's pretty good. Like, being able to have an answer for a Banishing Light that's also not dead because it just sacks creatures. And typically, three mana creature sacrifices has been played. Uh, I think Midnight Offering was one of them. Midnight Tribute or something? You don't know. Nope. God, he, he, has no, he has no magic history. I don't. Midnight Tribute. Nope. Midnight. It's, I know it's Midnight. It's a three mana Midnight card. Yeah, maybe, I'm not, maybe it's not Midnight. Is it Tribute? Come on, guys, help me out here. What are you looking for? It's three mana sacrifice card. Slaughter the strong. That's not no tribute to hunger. Three mana target opponent sacrifices a creature. You gain life equal to that creature's toughness. And then there was also the with a more recent three mana one. There's slaughter the something, and it was based on if you had uh, two nice. sorceries or instants in your graveyard, sacrifice a creature or a, a um, or a planeswalker to the slaughter. To the slaughter. That's it. Right. That was also three mana. Um... Yeah, Doom, uh, Doom. the Doom one was correct, too. Doomfall. Doomfall. And there's also one more. I can't think of it. Um, uh, Foul, Foul Tongue Invocation. Yes. From Khans. Foul Tongue. Yep. So that's like four cards. that All of them saw play at some point or another um, that make you sacrifice. To the Slaughter saw play. Foul Tongue Invocation saw play. Tribute to Hunger saw play. Doomfall saw play. So, yeah, this card definitely seems fine. Like, I can't this imagine. This card seems really good. Yeah, I agree. Because I was... So I was looking for a way... The reason I came across this because I was looking for it's Exile still Effects. Still empty. For exile effects to deal with like Thassa, because Thassa's huge right now, it's all over Arena. And black, I, I assumed that that four mana eat to extinction card, eat to extinction. Yeah, the card with the oh, mouth. Oh, it's literally called eat to extinction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I thought yeah, that, that dealt with card. a god, but it, it doesn't deal with the gods if they're not creatures. It only hits planeswalkers Correct. or creatures. Yeah. And then I came across this. I'm like, holy shit, that's really good. Like this, this is really. Oh good. yeah, because it might. It's likely that it's an only enchantment. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Farika's spawn a three four for four. Um, it's garbage. So you say that, but I can see playing a one of this with like uh, Grave Breaker Lamia, and then when it enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices that creature. So like, then it's a five six for for six. It's not great, but like, I wish this card cost four mana, was a three four, and it just said when it enters the battlefield, each, each opponent sacrifices sacrifice a non gorgon creature, and then also had escape. That's pretty good though. A three four for four, like there's a three two for three that does it. Three two for three is much different than a three four. Like that dies yeah. to every room, every burn spell. Yeah, but it also costs one more mana. What I'm talking about costs three. This costs four. You just didn't you say four mana? No, three two for three. This costs four. Oh, you want this to be a three? I'm two just for saying. Three. I you wish... said a three four. 
a three four for four mana. I, I basically what I was trying to I was reading this exact card, but I was saying I wish every time it entered the battlefield yeah. they sacrifice. Rage Scarred Berserker. Five mana for a five four. Mm, not gonna do it. When it enters the battlefield, target creature you control gets plus one plus one indestructible. That's cute. Scavenging Harpy, three mana for a two one flyer. When it enters the battlefield, exile a card from a graveyard. Nope. Soul Reaper of Mogus, three mana. Sack a creature, draw a card. Mm, no. Temple Thief, two mana for a 2 2. It can't be blocked by enchanted creatures or enchantment creatures. Still no. Treacherous Blessing, three mana. When it enters the battlefield, draw three cards. When you cast a spell, you lose a life. That's that's a lot. That's rough. When it becomes the target of a spell or ability, sacrifice it. This is great in Doom for Told Dex. I think this card's good. It's so good. Okay, I don't I, let's I think it's good. I think it's really good. In Doom for Told Dex, drawing three cards, like that's nutty. You oh, always I like wanted that in Doom Foretold. Yeah, you always wanted the turn three, the Othakaya, because you wanted to play Doomfall on four and have something to sacrifice. That's just another three drop that you get I to do, play. I do worry about being able to get rid of it uh, before too long, right? Like, I mean, it's a, it's a mid-range deck, so you're playing one spell a turn, basically. So okay. four of them gain you life. I mean, if you know, if you can't get rid of this within three spells, like it's worse than Painful Truths, right? But yeah, I it's like still it. good. I think it's still playable. Like yeah. the Painful Truths is not the bar though. Like we don't have to be better than Painful Truths to be playable. I think it's still very very good. Yep. Timurite calls the dead. Ring ring, hello dead. Uh, three mana. Put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Then you may exile a creature or enchantment from your graveyard. If you do, make a two two. Um, I made the comparison that this card reminds me of like History of Benalia. It makes a 2-2 two -two on the first mode. It makes a 2-2 two -two on the second mode. On the third mode, you don't get the plus bonus, but you do gain X life and scry X. So typically it's going to be two, right? Like if you have no other creatures, um, which you actually have turn four and turn five to play guys, right? Turn one. And turn, no, turn four. You have turn four. Um, so maybe you can scry three and gain three. But I mean, what do you think of this card? I don't think it's going to be good. Really? I think it's good in a, in a deck where you're trying to flip a lot of cards. It's a good effective way to hit mill six cards for one card, and you may get some Zombos out of it. One interesting thing to note, and I mentioned this in my article that I wrote about this, is that, like, um, the cards don't have to be flipped over, right? Like, you, you just mill three, and then you can remove any creature or enchantment. If right, they don't have to be one, one of the ones you flipped. Right. Sure. I, I still don't think it's that good. That's weird to me, because History of Benali is not that much different. Like, they're both two two twos. The third mode is different. The third mode is the only one that's different, I it's think. It's definitely worse. It's definitely worse, for sure. Yeah. That's why it's a rare, not a mythic. But, like, I think the similarities are close. No, I, I'm not saying that it's not similar to that card. I just don't think this is any good. It's good with Cuckoo Phony Bird. Who the fuck is... What is that? Catablevis? Oh, oh, the Enchantment Bird. The the The... Cacophony. Cacophony. The 2-1 two for 2 that flies. Make him stop. Cacophony. Oh, Cuckoo Phony Bird, yeah. You better stop or I'm going to Cacophony. Yeah, you can't whiff on History Benali, but I, I assume you're building your deck in such a way that minimizes the amount of risk. Timurit, Chosen from Death. Black, black for uh, Devotion equal to black, so 2-2 two, two at the least. Exile to two cards from your, from graveyards. You gain a life for each creature card. Exiled this way. This is a good sideboard card. This is just black. a 2-2 two, two creature with uh, with what? Kaya's plus two ability tacked on, right? Oh yeah, you're right. It exiles two creature, two cards. You gain a life for each creature. It's basically literally it's word close. for word it's, Kaya. No, it's not. It's not word for word Kaya. How is it not? Because I think Kaya doesn't say you gain one life for each creature. It says if you exiled a creature, in the two cards you gain life. Yeah, that's true. I think you're right. Uh, Same ceiling. You gain, no, you gain two life if at least one creature was exiled right. this way. Okay. Is this this playable? Uh, I think this is definitely playable on sideboard of a mono black deck. I like Withered Wretch better. I mean, but yeah, but that's not an option. But you can see, you can, or Yixla Jailer. No, Yixla Jailer's different. With the is right. You're, you're, you're correct. Who cares if you gain life and scry and black? I mean, like, if you want to gain life and scry and black, you care. Underworld Charger 3 mana for 3 3. It can't block. That's sad. To be fair, hold it's on. Too fast. Me, I want to answer that real quick. So, to be fair, you're saying, who cares if you gain life and scry and black? I, you're, you're looking at that card the wrong way. So, let's say you're playing against Mono Red and your deck is built to play that card. You're going to spend one turn to make two chump blockers and potentially gain life and scry to set up and get the land drop that you need or if you're flooding out to get the spells you need. That that actually is a way that that card's pretty good, I think. Just to be clear, I've missed five phone calls. Uh, Dude, you screwed up. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm, really, I'm really irritated by this. I'm sorry about that. 
since we've started. One was the National Gifting Center. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Like, that's really Maybe they're going to give you something. Uh, Underworld Charger. It escapes with two 1-1 one -one counters, so it's a 3-3. Three -three they can't block for three. That's not going to do it. And then if you pay five and exile three cards, it's a 5-5. Five -five. They can't block for five. Thanks for playing. Underworld Dreams being an uncommon is super interesting to me. <laughs> this is like a $30 card back in the day, and now it's like, yeah, it's an uncommon. Whenever an opponent draws a card, it deals one damage to that player. Okay. Okay, I don't think it's playable. I mean, like, it's going to take a lot of work, I think. Some, some, I've been reading some pros saying that they absolutely think it's playable. All right, then I'll put it on the list. It's I, hard. I, I don't think it's playable. It's hard because you don't really have... You uh, can't control what they draw is what I don't like about it. Well, you, that you, you, I mean, they're always going to draw at least one a turn, right? Yeah, but uh, so three mana just to deal one damage every turn? I don't think... But it's also, th like, the devotion is yeah, not nothing, that, right? That's like, real. Grey Merchant. That's real. Venomous Hierophant. This should be the last card. Death Touch, when it enters the battlefield, put the top three cards of your library in your graveyard for a 3 3 for 4. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklinpore. This should be going up on Saturday, so if you're watching this, uh, you would know that. And uh, be sure to check out the next part tomorrow, which is going to be uh, red, green, artifact, and gold. And uh, be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check out manatraders.com, where you will get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. And it's a great way to play like Standard or Modern or Pioneer on Magic Online. They have a great subscription service, and you can use them to pick up uh, to pick up some Theros cards as well to, to play that. So be sure to do that. You can check out my articles at coolstuffinc.com. Patreon.com slash Frank Laporte. It's a great way to donate $1 or $2 a month if you want to support the channel that way. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Actually, we forgot Woe Strider. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this Woe Strider. This card seems great. Let's absolutely talk playable. about playable. Absolutely playable. Absolutely playable. It's going Ma on the it list. It makes archetypes better. This card's busted. It's so good. And I'll have to edit this. So that's in there. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> card's good. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's got escape. Good. You can put this guy in the graveyard by himself. With your fucking snake, Robert. Oh, no, you can't. With your fucking snake. I'll see you later, guys.